over the thousands and thousands of hours I've spent playing Minecraft. For about a hundred of those hours, I spent mining in a straight line. And please don't ask me why I did this, as I really don't know the answer. But all I do know is that mining has changed so much over the last few Minecraft updates. And the results and findings of mining for 100 hours in a straight line is super mind-blowing. So sit back, relax, get some popcorn, as this is a long one. And I hope you guys enjoy. It is time to get underway. And oh boy boy <laughs> i really hope i find some diamonds oh that is an interesting way to start off just <laughs> plummeting right down into a, in a ravine that's cool okay and then we're in water and then we're by a lava pool this is like the weirdest spawn ever any diamonds any diamonds nope all right i'm gonna go y level 12 and we're off now typically with my uh one by one mining method which i show you guys all the time on this channel i usually find anywhere from an, uh, a stack and a half to two and a half stacks per hour of mining using that method so if i can replicate similar numbers um i'm gonna be fine with that and also just a quick heads up i'm not gonna be mining up down left right for anything other than diamonds so basically i'm just gonna be mining if i get iron if i get coal if i get anything else i'm fine with it but the only thing i'm gonna be mining you know to the side for like that is gonna be for diamonds and honestly that's fine for me because in this world i have an iron farm and i have a coal farm so i don't really need those things but just as a little heads up as to why i might be passing a ton of ores that is why all right well i guess i'm just gonna water bucket across um nope no diamonds make sure yep so on the same block by level 12 I'm good to go another lava pool feel like i can just bridge this yeah i mean yeah <laughs> speed bridging it real quick don't worry about it guys i'm a pro oh diamonds okay so the rule for this is if I, if it's exposed and it's really close, I'm just going to go grab the diamonds. I don't know if you guys are going to be counting that because I know it's not on this specific path. But it's like, bro, it is, it is literally three blocks away. I feel like I'm allowed to get some diamonds. Or maybe I'll keep those diamonds in a different stack. How about that? That's what I'll do. Oh, my man is tripped out. What the heck? Nah, uh, I don't even see anything. We keep going. Ah, oh, shoot. The one thing I don't want to do is mine underwater. It's just the absolute worst. Oh, uh, yeah. It seems like we should be out of it in a second. Yeah, we're good. I just really hope I don't run into any, like, huge underwater ravines or caves or... That's gonna be a nightmare to go through. Ooh, some gold. Hey, I mean, I'm looking for diamonds, but that's kind of cool. So, a quick peek. Oh, no. I thought I saw diamonds. I got so hyped for a second. Let's go bridge across here. Make sure I stay on this line. We're like 10 minutes in. We haven't found any diamonds in, in a strip mine. We found five. It's like right off of the strip mine, which I don't even know if I'm allowed to count. But if there's anything mining all of these years has taught me in Minecraft is that your luck can change in literally the matter of a few minutes. So I'm going to keep pushing through. But I would, I would like to see some diamonds. That would be really, really awesome. Also, inventory is full. So I'm just going to empty out the shulker box. Holy crap. That's a lot of stuff. For 10 minutes? That is a lot. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. Oh, diamonds! What did I just say? Your luck could change in the matter of minutes. And that was like a minute. Let me just like double check. Okay, I think, I think we're good. I'm gonna put these diamonds in this shulker box because the other diamonds I find not strictly on this trim. Like I said, I'm gonna keep in this separate pile. But all right, we're on the board. 11 diamonds, let's go. Oh, more diamonds. All right, all right. Little eight, little eight stack is like to call them. Okay, that was 28 from 8. Is that even possible? Wait, that is like more... That's like a perfect fortune 3. Like, that is... Oh, what? Holy... Another 8? Another 8? 15 this time? I can't... 54? In the span of 4 minutes, we've got 54 diamonds. I'm telling you guys, don't give up. Because it is literally stupid sometimes the luck you can get. Like absolutely wild holy crap oh buddy some more diamond six i think we're looking at six with 13 is that a stack that is a full stack of diamonds we are beasting this right now this is this is stupid i'm gonna be kind of mad if i find a ton of diamonds because i feel like this is the most simple method out there and if it works the most that's just it's gonna be too dumb man too dumb for me it, uh dude i i i'm i'm gonna lose it is this eight is that eight more and that's like the fortune is just 
crazy as well right now. The fortune's crazy. The luck is crazy. I was not expecting this. This is like, I was expecting you to stack it half for the whole thing. Or I just stack it half in 17 minutes. Okay. All right, fill up another shulker box. I'm just going to keep chucking in these items so I can pick up more. I guess I should have really brought like a lot more shulker boxes. Who knew? Ooh, that. What? 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 Well, that's one. Okay. Thank you. Two, three. Whoa. That was weird. I was like, one diamond scam. Not exactly. And I just realized something. Maybe when I'm finding more diamonds is because usually when I mine, a big strategy of mine is going and looking through caves. And that takes up a lot of time. I'm just just grinding, mining through blocks. Now, I've, I've mined over 2,000 blocks, I think, in distance alone right now, which is just covering some insane ground. And since I'm just mining one direction, not changing, not getting any other ores, this might actually be a really good method now that i think about like the science behind it oh not the underwater mining let me just let me just go through here please excuse me thank you i'm right, about the halfway point not much has changed just finding my last bit of diamonds like i said you know a lot could change for the good a lot could change for the bad i'm a kind of a dry streak right now so hopefully just hopefully some diamonds can pop up right in front of my face very soon oh that's not what we want to see. We're good. Okay, that's. I also really haven't ran into a lot of mobs doing this. Was I guess it's a good thing. Like if you guys are scared of mobs, just I guess mine in a straight line and you find like nothing. But I'm also not lighting up any of this passageway. So like if I ever like need to walk back through this, yeah, it's just it's not going to looking good for me. Ooh, that's okay. Not what I want to see either. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're good. Oh, maybe. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Oh, man. It's been, it's been a good minute since I found some diamonds. Please. I was feeling so good. I was praising this method so much. And then look at me. I'm looking like a chump right now. Oh, thank you so much. A stack of diamonds. 11. Oh, that's really not good at all i'm just gonna be honest that's it's really not good at all but hey beggars can't be choosers that's that's also a lesson i've learned in, in mining in minecraft over these years oh how's it going bud excuse me bud yeah. oh. Oh. thank you oh diamonds i okay that was nine diamonds from seven. Ah, oh, dude the fortune luck is just busted right now i mean we're finding consistently finding big veins of diamonds but it's just it's not really paying off in the fortune department i mean i think i dried up all of my luck at the very start but i mean diamonds are diamonds oh no okay i'm getting out of my holy crap this is a lot this is a lot what's up spider okay can you oh that was a that was a little double whammy how about this 360 oh Okay, there's more creepers. I'm gone. I'm gone. Give me my little hole. Okay, just I'm gonna keep mining. I'm gonna keep finding diamonds. All right, eat some chicken. All right, cool. Woof. Catch off guard, man. There's no way I'm dying with all these diamonds. I was loot. Oh, another eight stack. Let's go. Oh, this is a. That was a good one. Was 17. Oh man, we. I think we're over two stacks. Let me let me go see real quick. Wrong shulker box. Excuse me. Okay, my now my inventory is a mess. I'm throwing. We're at. Oh my gosh. We're at over two stacks. This is actually going so good. This is so weird. I mean, I love it. I love the diamonds, but it's just so weird. <laughs> Alrighty, there is a now under. 10 minutes left in the hour. It's gone by pretty fast, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, all I'm, I'm just hoping to end it out strong. It's been a good session so far, but there's nothing more disappointing than ending a mining session on just a bad note. Not finding any diamonds, nothing good. Still no emeralds in this session, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. But, you know, we're here for the diamonds. That's the main goal. So, we'll see. Last nine and a half minutes if we can, if we can strike big or if we fumble the bag and we can't find any extra diamond. Oh, let's go. Another eight stack of diamonds. That is a clutch find. What are we looking at? 18 diamonds. Or at least we're ending out 
on a pretty strong. Still seven minutes left. Still seven minutes left. We can we can end stronger. I feel it. Oh, a mine shaft. These always have diamonds. I want to loot that chest, but I gotta keep going. Oh, this is odd. Uh, this, is, this is a little awkward. Just mining right <laughs> in the wall of a mine shaft. You know, uh, just a casual burning fence post. Cool. Oh, and we got diamonds. <gasps> Please don't burn. Please don't burn. Please don't burn. Oh, my inventory is a mess right now. Okay. Are we good? We're good. How many was that? I think it's like five extra diamonds. Just like <laughs> I told you. I told you there's always diamonds in a mine shaft. What? Oh, let's go. One, two, three. Any more? Any more? Four. Oh, this is five. Holy crap, that was like eight. I think my math is right. There's like eight total diamonds. Let's go. The luck is coming through in the final five. Alrighty, guys. Two minute warning. Two minute warning. Oh, what a clutch find. You're joking me. We're just over a minute left. We keep going. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. There's officially 60 seconds left. Oh no, guys. Oh no. There's 10 seconds left. I mean, there's a chance. It's a small one, but there's a chance of five, three, two, one, and time's up. Well, to double check the cords, we're sitting on negative 33,554, like I said. And for the X coordinate, we're sitting on 14,657. That means we mined over 4,000 blocks. In a straight line an hour. That's fast. I'm I'm honestly surprised that number. That is an extremely fast number. All right, now we are back. My inventory is emptied out. The shulker boxes are emptied out. And I have divided the contents into three separate chests. These chests over here are just all the general blocks. The cobblestone, the diorite, the dirt. The stuff that's sometimes useful, but not really what you're looking for. These are like the semi-rare materials. Iron, gold, coal, redstone. You guys are the gist. And then this chest right here is all of the diamonds combined for a final count. So showcasing off this chest, it's a bunch of cobblestone. I actually mined a lot more blocks than I was originally anticipating. Like I was maybe expecting like maybe four of these rows, but I got these rows and a few extra. And there's a lot of cobblestone I think collect on the way. So you could easily get like two double chests of cobblestone if you just mine for an hour straight. It's kind of cool. Now moving on to the second chest, you got three stacks of redstone dust, a stack and a half of lapis, two stacks of coal, it's actually pretty surprising, 22 iron ore, 13 gold ore, and then two flint. Uh, now this is from strictly mining in a straight line. Obviously, if I went off to the left and to the right uh, for each of these types of ores, I would've got a lot more because I passed through a lot of veins of, I know, redstone and lapis for sure. But like I said, stick it true to the treasure hunt of diamonds. I didn't want to, to you know, distract and, and to potentially ruin the results. So in this chest right now, guys, type your guess down below in the comment section of how many diamonds you think I ended up with, because I promise you guys, the results are going to shock you. Boom. We got over two and a half stacks of diamonds in one hour of mining in a straight line. These are the five diamonds I got in the very beginning, the very first diamonds I found. Um, honestly, I'm down to just chuck these out. I did not think I was going to be getting more than, honestly, a stack. A stack would have been great. We got two and a half stacks, even more. I will explore a little bit. I don't want to just, like, mine on a complete straight line. Obviously, I'm going to keep mining a straight line. But if I wanted something in an area like this, obviously a new area, I want to go explore. Because normally, if I were to go mining in a straight line anyways, if I run into a cave, I'm going to go explore. I'm not going to go mine in a straight line and then just pass up stuff that's right beside me. That seems a bit pointless. We'll see. We'll see. This is my first official mining trip in the, uh, the new update. I want to find an amethyst, uh, like, crystal bubble cave thing. I'm also not grabbing coal just because I feel like coal is a, already is a very valuable resource. It's a very... It's a very common resource, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on a, on a resource I know isn't uh, incredibly valuable. The only thing, uh, I guess the only thing bad about this, if you're going to silk, silk touch blocks, the deep slate blocks take up two, twice as much room as before. But we find our first diamond is only three minutes into this. Find an eight vein of regular diamond ore. That's pretty ridiculous. I'm going to throw out the stone, as obviously don't really think I need stone right now. Grab this redstone, though, for later. It's good for the XP. That was fast. Three minutes in, we're already finding diamonds? That was... Oof. Oh, 
This will, this will be a good mining session, I'll tell you that much. You know it's about to be good when you're finding diamonds that quick. Holy crap. Yeah, you know it's about to be a good one. Oh my gosh. What? Yo? I just found an axolotl in this underground cave. I didn't know they could... A man just vibing. A man just vibing. I'll let him vibe. Oh, let's go. More diamond ore and our first bit of deep slate diamond ore. Okay. Okay, so let's make sure we have an open inventory slot for that. Top in. Was that eight? Okay, we're finding some. That's unfortunate to say the least. That really is just gone forever. Oh my gosh, but we actually find more diamonds in the same cave. Wow. Wow, this is. This turned out good. We're t nine minutes in, 18 diamond ore, and three deep slay diamond ore. 21 diamonds in nine minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got some glow squids down there. They're just vibing in the water. More diamond ore. This 100% is way more diamonds than before yeah we'll go we'll go save it up to the glow squids for a second no get in the water no the friend his buddy died no they both just died i mean i'll i'll take that though i'll take some more <laughs> i'm so sorry i tried guys i tried i did whoa deep slate copper ore whoa that looks fun uh oh oh my gosh what whoa Whoa! No! Yeah, wait, they no, let's go! Oh my god. What's happening? Cords 588. Okay, we're good. Oh my god. I was reading out my cords in case I died. God, that poison's rough. Holy crap. Can I just get these and go? I'm pretty sure the creeper just blew up two of my diamonds. That's unfortunate. I'm just gonna keep on going. I'm just gonna keep on heading the straight line. I don't wanna mess with that. That witch. Oh, diamonds. More. More diamonds. Let's go. Yep, 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 yep. Officially a half a sack of diamond ore. I would say diamonds feel a bit easier to find, but I've also haven't really found any in the last like 10 or 15 minutes. Thank you, diamonds. Diamondos. 36. Any more? Anymore? No more? Okay. I've been finding a ton. I mean, I'm 40 minutes in. I found around 40 diamond ore. It's a good, good rate for me, to be honest. Oh my gosh. Speak of speak of finding diamonds in the new update, huh? Huh? I have 42. And I have three of the deep slates. So I have 45 diamond ore. Ooh, another big ravine. Man, these ravines are all over the place. In 1.17. It could also just be like the biome I'm in or something. Can't really tell. I mean, with how many, like I have three stacks of iron. I have a stack and a half of gold. And those are the two main things. I have I have uh, like almost a stack of copper. Once I fortune those things, like I'm gonna have so much. Oh, I got 13 minutes left, folks. You got 13 minutes left. Try to find it out. Uh, more diamonds. Oh, let's go. Wow. Whoa. Is that eight or is that just a weird funky vein? Was that six? That, that was a weird, funky vein. I was like, we're running low on time. I feel like every 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 time I start running low on time, we, we find diamonds. So I, I don't know if that's just the jinx of just like, yo, where's my diamonds? I mean, every, there you go. There you go. Uh, another five, maybe six, five. I'll take it. That's really interesting. It spawned right next to a deep slate like patch, but I still only have three deep slate diamond ores, which by the way, Deep Slate Diamond Ores look sick. They look so, so cool. So we're at 53, we're at 56 in total. I need eight more ores in the next 10 minutes, which feels like not much of an ask, but at the same time, who knows? Minecraft, I'm either super lucky or super unlucky. I do like the new update personally. I mean, the new update is mainly a mining update. Um, I mean, even the caves and cliffs part is pretty much strictly a mining update. Come on, boys. Come on. We could do it. Oh, I, I see it. Yes, I do see it. Not see. That's why I got to check every little crack and crevice. 
Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Just please. Okay, that's not that good. We still have to find... We have to find one more vein of diamonds. In the next two and a half minutes, we have to find one more vein. But... Oh! No way. Oh, was that it? Oh, that's it. 62 and 3. That makes a full stack of diamonds coming down to the wire. Oh my gosh. This is facts. This is facts. Ah, that's very satisfying. A stack of diamonds. It's very satisfying. Just in time, too. Uh, less than a minute left. Gonna try to just get some more, uh, gold, or I think I've, uh, like, two stacks now. Iron ore, I think we capped that at three stacks. Uh, I've tried to, try to keep my inventory as, like, variety as possible. Like, not, I have, like, two stacks of stone. And, like, a few stacks of deep slate. But everything else is primarily ores. And we've mined, we've mined around 2,000 blocks. Uh, in distance, around 4,000 blocks. Which I would say is a lot. I think deep slate, deep slate technically slows you down a little bit because it's a bit slower of a mining speed. Uh, but still, in an hour, we accomplished a lot. Over a stack of diamonds, just slightly over a stack of diamonds. Um, and so I'm going to head back to my base in just a second. I'm going to place out everything. And then we're going to fortune it. And we're going to find out the total tally of uh, what all we were able to find. And with that, the time is up. Timer's beeping in my ear. So now we gotta go uh, bop our heads all the way back. All right, well, everything placed out. It looks pretty ridiculous. I know we have like a stack of diamond blocks here. About two, three stacks, two and a half stacks of gold. We have three stacks over three, I think like four stacks of iron. This is around a stack of redstone, maybe a stack and a half. Uh, just around, or maybe a little bit less than a stack of lapis, and then a stack of coppers. And now for the main attraction, we have the block of diamonds, the 64 diamonds. We're going to see how many diamond blocks were just diamonds in general. We're going to get from this from an hour of mining in 1.17. I'm going to predict around two and a half stacks. That's my prediction uh, with Fortune 3, probably around two and a half stacks. And uh, we'll see what it comes out to, because I feel like that's typically what it is. For every stack of diamond ore, you get around two and a half stacks, depending on your uh, your fortune lock. Maybe more. We'll see. We're at two stacks right now. And for the grand reveal, we get two stacks and 40 of diamonds. And so turning these into blocks, 18 diamond blocks for honestly, that's an impressive hour. Single hour mining in a straight line. No fancy methods. Exploring caves a little bit in ravines. If I saw diamonds, saw some stuff, I got it. 18 diamond blocks. 27 blocks of gold, 40 blocks of copper, 52 blocks of iron. So I'm going to drink my potion and we're off to the races. Now I'm being honest about mining in a straight line. I am going to literally bridge my way through these lava pools uh, because one, I can kind of do that um, with these potions and two, it wouldn't really be a straight line video, uh, would it? if I wasn't mining in a straight line. So there is a chance I could find some ancient debris just walking around and mining, but most of the ancient debris is obviously gonna come from exploding uh, the netherrack and seeing what comes from there. So the most I've ever had in one session is like 30 ancient debris. So if I can get more than like 30, 40 ancient debris, I'll be a happy camper. We will be we will be chilling, and especially because I'm in a netherite race on my SCP, the more netherite I can get, the better. That is literally the main reason of this video is I just need lots and lots of netherite. So I'll probably mine. Oh no, I thought I, I, I went so far. You know what? That's okay. You know, if you guys go mining for ancient debris, it's really hard to find new areas like this. Um, and so I, I did my best. I mined out like nearly a thousand blocks. For this but there's still a, like a majority of untapped area but that's something that happens with ancient debris mining is you run into places you've already mined before so you know but that's okay because i have looked i've looked for over 20 minutes near me for a place that hasn't been mined up haven't found it so don't know if that's gonna be possible but just gonna keep mining a bit 
maybe in like another minute i'll start to place the tnt and we'll get the first little uh blown up session there is so much lava though I'm not sure why minecraft has decided to spam me with some lava ancient debris that's okay holy crap i'm gonna put me give me some ancient debris right beside lava two ancient debris right beside lava okay only two ancient debris it looks like but that's that's fine we're on the board boys we're on the board with two ancient debris just from mining not even any any tnt explosions i gotta make sure as well to get some quartz so that way my pickaxe doesn't break and i can mend it up okay there we go so all right i think i'm gonna start my first little line right here now i personally do one tnt every other block uh i know people have said you can do tnt every other like two blocks every three blocks uh but for me i've just found that tnt every other block uh creates the most like it creates the most destruction which means obviously the bigger chance to find ancient debris so i do have a gunpowder farm and i am relatively rich and so using this much tnt doesn't affect me if i was a bit uh on the you know resource uh wimpy side i don't have a lot of resources then i oh okay well it's already blowing up that's okay we'll just keep keep going i think if lava drips down on tnt it can blow it up even without any sort of uh ignition from flint steel so that's cool maybe we got something maybe we didn't let's go find out here we are we're in a soul sand biome i don't i don't know if ancient debris spawns differently in soul sand biomes or like in different biomes but what i will say is that soul sand and ancient debris look very similar so that is very unfortunate like look at this half of these blocks are just lava blocks there's nothing i can even do about this I don't see any ancient debris. Maybe don't go... Oh my gosh. What an unfortunate start. First set of like stack and a half. And I've seen no ancient debris. There's also so much lava covering this up. That if I found ancient debris, I don't know if I'd be able to see it. Wow, so yeah, a stack and a half of TNT. And we get literally nothing. So I'm going to continue on here. Why 14 uh is the y level i typically mine at i just spam forward uh and yeah this is this is just not fun i gotta check so i have two minutes of fire res left so i gotta keep an eye on that i will say i wish i could just plop down some water and all this would go away but this isn't the overworld oh more ancient debris just that's f five ancient debris from just strip mining that is ridiculous well i'm gonna go ahead slap down my next section of tnt here hopefully it doesn't blow up prematurely because that was kind of funny um it's funny that all my ancient debris has come from just strip mining not even not even tnt mining so much lava it didn't even blow up all the way hey our first ancient debris though from uh tnt mining yeah there's just all these lava pools here and i can't even can't get anything so all right we are 10 minutes in 10 minutes in and we have that seven we have seven h debris in 10 minutes so not bad but we've also been incredibly unlucky so well there we go it's a good bit of section without uh any lava oh let's go now we're on a roll oh wait what it just blew up from like the middle or something Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, what? Two more ancient debris. Nice. Here's some good veins of ancient debris. Do I see more? I see more! Oh, let's go! We're on a roll today. We're on a roll. We could hit 50. We're on a... Jeez! Oh, my gosh. These veins are huge. Usually, I get like one or two ancient debris per vein. And I'm getting like two plus. Two to three. Like, that is huge. That's like... Just like going mining for diamonds if you're just finding veins of four diamonds like it's gonna suck but i'm out here finding veins of just oh my gosh three more all the way back there this is good i'm glad i see even though i'm running through some already mined areas i have my i got my own little pocket now and we are cranking out some ancient debris wow we have 17 we're gonna go again we encountered zero lava right there which is like rare it feels like all right let's go see we got 20 seconds to fire res so yeah i just like being safe 
I'm gonna pop the next fire res bottle because there's no reason to risk it. I have like an hour of fire res. Holy crap. So I see a piece right there. I have Optifine, so I do get the ability to zoom in. Um, didn't see anything else, but still, there could be more. Could be more than just one here. Nope, not just one. But right there, going to Y level 12. Not sure if it was just crazy lucky. But oh, more debris. Uh, I ran into zero lava while mining that area, which increases the efficiency a ton. I spend most of my time just going through lava. Like, that's my biggest, like, problem with netherite mining is the lava. So if Y level 12 can fix that, I'll stay on there. But usually I go to my level 14. Uh, 21 debris, though. Not too shabby. I'm in the soul sand biome again. And it looks like ancient debris. But I mean, I guess right there, I mean, I'm able to see it. Able to detect it pretty easily. So that's not much of a problem. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm shocked I found that one right there. That blended in so well with the soul sand blocks. And that's why you spam. Spam mine. We get two more. So up to 25. It's been like 20 minutes. It's been literally 17 minutes. And we're at 25. That is absolutely ridiculous. That's what that is. I will say, it is satisfying watching TNT blow itself up in a line. It is, it is satisfying. And we find two more. And that's that. So up to 27 in like 18 minutes. That is, that is an, ins that is an insane pace. Let's see, can I spot any while it's being blown up? Come on. Oh, right over the lava right there. Let's go. Easy peasy. Yeah, I might, I stocked up 13 stacks of TNT for this. Whoa, two stacks. And I might have actually not got enough TNT for this. So if that's the case, I'll pause the timer and I'll go get more. TNT for this, obviously, but it's just ridiculous. Like, there's no way I go through that much. Oh, yes. 30 ancient debris. 31 ancient debris. Okay, well, that, that wasn't nearly as eventful as some of the other TNT runs were. I think we only got, like, four ancient debris. Hey! More uh, ancient debris, though. Only one. A little sad. Wow! Okay. Well, that was close. That was very close. We got that, though. You know, no problem. It's easy. Boom. And it should be boom. And then it just stops. And then it just decided to stop. And that's... Even spacing it out one block, you can still get these situations where it only... Ow, goes that little bit. Uh-oh! Let's go. Whoa! That's so weird. That's like right next to each other oh more oh more holy crap see for every unlucky little session you get or section you just get an equally just crazy lucky section so right now we have over 10 or no we have nine ingots we have 38 ancient debris more more oh my gosh more oh my gosh 42. 42. That's 10 and a half netherite ingots. And what? It's been like 30 minutes. 35 minutes. And so yeah, this is what happens when you enter up assault deltas. Is as you can see, this is a ton of area the TNT is blowing up, and then it turns into this. Um, we get these really narrow tunnels, and the TNT just has nowhere to blow up. So you really don't find any new uh ancient debris. So I guess I'm just going to literally go and mine in a straight line through this because I want to stay um, on this path for the challenge and just really see if you just go for an hour straight. Oh, we're good. Yo, we're through it. Six minutes. It took us six minutes of mining in a straight line and we did it. We're through to the other side. Let's go. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah. These are some like black zone pockets. Okay. Scare me a bit there, Minecraft. Oh, ancient debris. Yeah, even while mining in all those blocks back there, I didn't find a single ancient debris. Oh, no. Three, four. Oh, my God. Four ancient debris. That's... Oh, my God. What are the odds of that? Like, actually, what are the, what are the odds? I have never seen a four. I have never, ever, ever seen a four stack of ancient debris. That's like 50. And that hit the 50 mark as well. And then you have this 
You get a stack of four, you need a stack of one lonely out here in the open. Oh man, run to our last stack of TNT, but I have someone on the way. So uh, rest assured, we're gonna keep this going. We're gonna keep uh, everything running, smooth operation. Yeah, we're getting really close to the one, one stack mark here. Coming in with 50, this will be 56. So honestly, depending on my luck, you might be able to reach a stack here just off of that little chain of explosions, but we'll see. Oh, how did I miss that right there? Whoa. Oh, let's go. 58. Oh, what in the world? So all you gotta do is 360 Ooga Boogas. See if you can't catch those really weird spawns. And we're at 61. 12 minutes. 12 minutes and I'm at 63. All right, so there's 12 minutes left, but I have a friend, Miss Pickle. She's been a few videos recently. She's dropping me 13 stacks of TNT, and I can't even hold all of them. Uh, but that's going to straight up carry me to the end. Without a doubt, that'll that'll submit me, and, and we'll be chilling. So thank you, Miss Pickle. We need, some, we need some big finds here closing it off. Is that it? Is that the piece that... Oh, that's going to catch on fire, probably. I think there's lava right by that TNT. Is this it? Is this the piece that gets me to a stack? It is! One stack of ancient debris in under an hour. Yeah, this is... This is, uh... Reminds me of the beginning. Oh, wow. What a lucky freaking find right by the basalt deltas, too. Oh, we get two? Can we get, like, three out of this? That'd be wild. All right. Well, there's about two minutes left. And because I couldn't get through this, we're just gonna blow it up. Who knows? Maybe I could find a few more pieces of ancient debris. Uh, right now we're at 67, so we could get crazy lucky at like two or three veins. Because ancient debris still spawns here, just the TNT doesn't blow it up nearly as much. So it's a lot harder to uh, to discover that ancient debris you'd normally find. I will tell you, folks, it's not looking good. I haven't seen any any ancient debris. Oh no. Oh no, what an unfortunate ending. Oh, that is so rough. Wow. That that is it. That is literally 10 seconds to go. I gotta go. I gotta keep mining. I gotta find some more. Come on, man. Just why couldn't I have been in another way spy him the entire time? I would have found like 10 or 15 more. Uh well, that's the final. 67 ancient debris and an hour of mining in a straight line in minecraft i was thinking to myself what if i just mined the straight line for 10,000 blocks what would happen what would i be able to find and so that's what i'm gonna go test it today i'm gonna bring a bunch of shulker boxes i'm gonna bring like five pickaxes and i'm literally gonna mine in a straight line for 10,000 blocks oh our first diamonds look at that all righty we're getting right on in there aren't we i will take those thank you very much appreciate that Oh, and there's diamonds right here. More diamonds. Conveniently four blocks away from Lapis. So the Lapis method still does work. Lovely. Uh oh, Lapis again. Hey, the Lapis no, trick the lapis. still works. No, My gosh. It is so effective still. That's awesome. Find lapis, you find diamonds, guys. Little FYI trick. I posted posted an old video about it. So uh, if you haven't seen that one, go watch it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not explaining how I just mac miraculously found diamonds. Gotta go watch that video. Well, let's see. Uh, yeah. I'm in mountain biome. Oh my. Whoa. What a find. What a combo wombo find. That was 20 diamonds right there and one emerald. Wow, that was sick. Paired right next to each other. That's what you like to see. Oh my, what? I was just randomly looking for this gold. I was like, listen, I'll take some gold because I'm not typically like this. Hey, no way, another eight stack and that. Wait, that was nine diamonds. That was nine diamonds. Holy crap. Nine diamond ore. And we're about to hit our first thousand block milestone as well. We're coming in at negative 49, 90. So 10 more blocks in terms of distance. And we are here. Negative 5,000. So we've already mined 
1,000 blocks. And we've found a stack of diamonds and 18. We have a little bit of raw iron over here. Got some gold and everything else I've just been chucking out. But I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the first little uh, deposit of all my goods. Just want to like make sure they're all safe and sound. And nothing like that would go bad. But uh, yeah, doing good. Just keep her going. Going to the next five minutes. Eh, it's easy, bro. It's like some gold back there, probably. Tch, diamonds. Right by my face. Lovely. We love the diamonds. Thank you very much. It's less of a grind at that point, and I feel like it's more... Um, man, you love that. You love just me not explaining at all, digging down, and then finding uh, diamonds. That's that. I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys aren't going to get an explanation, I'm going to continue on. Look like a wizard. Cool. As in, my teacher wasn't the best, and we all decided to... Hey, diamonds! We all were just like, yo, let's just, like, play Agario. This was the year Agario became a big game, and so we all just agreed to not learn in computer class, barely pass my tests, and just play a bunch of Agario. Oh, we got some diamonds. It's been a while for diamonds as well. Did you use my points? Hey, it's all right. It's all right. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, we're getting about a, st a stack of diamonds. Hey, that, whoa, that was exactly it. I was trying to check how many blocks we'd gone. And we, we'd we gone exactly 6,003. So we've traveled 2,000 blocks now. So we've mined 4,000 blocks and we've traveled 2,000. So I'm going to put up all this stuff, all the valuables again. and go back, chuck some stuff away. Uh, there was some lava back here. I, I, yes, on my own accord... I would not do this. That's a very fair point. I wouldn't want to... Jeez, that was fast. That was a lot of diamonds. Back to back. On my own accord, yes. I would not want to do this. Because it's not... Uh, it's not too fun. You're mining a straight line for, for a while. But hey, that's, the, that's why it's entertaining. Because no one else wants to do it. No one wants to mine this many blocks. And so when someone does, like, oh, shoot. I'll go check it out. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I don't get it. How do you, how would you determine that? You know, like who, who determines what is, who is what and what is who? Flex my biceps. I'm in a hoodie, man. What's the point of flexing a bicep? Everyone's parents say that. No, I'm the tallest in my family. <laughs> That's like a whole lot of copium. All right, all right, about to be 3,000 blocks in, and three, two, one, negative 7,000. Thank you very much. The games I played growing up were Call of Duty throughout middle and high school. That really got me into, like, the YouTube scene, and then Fortnite was the game that, like, oh my god, we did it! You, you didn't believe! You didn't believe! You guys didn't believe! Oh my god. Hey, look at that. Astrology doesn't work. How about that? You said you, you were, what, manifesting it didn't happen? Happened. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That's crazy. Holy crap. I'll get those shards right there. Those like fat, juicy, sh whoa. Pause. Pause. 24. All right. Well, we're going to keep on trucking. See if we can't buy some more diamonds. Busy is good. Usually. Hey, diamonds. Amanda, we could just do, like, find a spawner in 20 minutes. I mean, the ant it's going to be no, but, like, one person's going to say yes. Well. Not knowing the rules. Hey, once again, lapis diamond trick. Thank you very much. I'll take four diamonds and back up. Um, watch out. Uh-oh. Yikes. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I'll take those diamonds. I haven't I haven't really done any cave searching at all. Just because there's no reason for me to, because I'm gonna mine so many blocks anyways. So I might as well. Like if I see them, might as well. Thanks for the suggestion. Not doing that. Sweet. More diamonds. Lovely. No, wait, whoa, wait, what? Is that a geode in a mine shaft? There's no way, there's no way. That's a, that's a geode in a mine shaft. Hello? 
What? Okay, that's not like, whoa, it just like cuts right through it. What? Yo, what up, Gamer Reacts? No way, that's awesome. Bro, I, I swear I have so many Gamer Reacts clips. Someone clip that, someone clip that, someone clip that. It's pretty sick though. Am I going on the uh, SP? Ooh, more diamonds. Man, we are cranking through some diamonds right now. If I can get a chest, I'll go look for it. I'll go, I'll go uh, see what's in it. See if I can't get some like, name tags or enchanted golden apples. Pretty sick. Uh-oh, more lapis? There's diamonds right there. No, back there. What are we at? 5,200 blocks. I don't know. I was trying to like think of what we're, what we're doing. We're over halfway done. And uh, just like expected, we're actually, we're actually going to be under three hours, it looks like. Three hours of total mining for this. The prep work took longer for this than I was expecting, but... Hey, an axe lol, you just vibing. I don't know why I did that. Honestly, I I'm just I'm just bored. Oh my whoa! Look at that! Man, I was about to say karma, but then I just get gifted two veins of diamonds for hitting uh poor axe lotl. I just got nine diamond ore down here. I'm telling you, underwater caves for me always go absolutely wild. They're always so generous to me. It's so funny. Alright, we've entered Z negative 10,000, meaning we have mined over 6,000 blocks. We've mined over 12,000 blocks. We've traveled over 6,000 blocks in distance so far, and we are absolutely cranking through this. Slow and steady. Slow and steady this one for the win. It's really not a bad uh, challenge. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, because mining in a straight line is so... What? Oh my God. No, I'm under us. Okay, first off, I'm gonna screenshot this for the coordinates. Dude, what do I do? I don't have any milk on me. Oh my gosh, what do I do? I can't mine here. If you guys don't know what this is, this is mining fatigue three. Just watch how slow this block of lapis is mined. This is my efficiency five pick. Efficiency five pick, by the way. I'm stuck down here. I have to go out of this range. And then I, I have to wait. I have to wait four minutes. And then I'm going to have to go up above the surface. I don't know. I might have to. I honestly might. What I might do is I might fly over the, the sea temple. And then I might dig back down. So let's say, how about this? We'll make it an even math. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to negative 10,000. And I'm going to fly to negative uh, 10,500. So I'm gonna skip 500 blocks. So I'll still mine exactly 10,000 blocks and travel 10,000 blocks, but there is literally no way. I can't get enough milk to go through that section. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna mine up. If there's a, if there's a bunch of cows up there, maybe, but I've only got two buckets and milk, I'll still have to like speed run it. Like, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, there it is. Yep, they're definitely right there. And there might be cows over here. Oh, there are cows. All right, we're taking a little bit of a detour, folks. We have a crafting table. Let's make some furnaces. Smelt some of this iron. Oh, I have to clear all this space in my inventory. Full inventory of milk. That'd actually be so funny. Look at that. I actually got too many buckets. You could have some milk back. Thank you. Let's go. Well, let's go mine. Let's go, let's go mining some more. All right, we're good. I think it can only activate like once every so often. I might have just got like way too much milk on accident. Imagine I just mine through this and there's no issue. I'm gonna be so mad. There's no way. I'm gonna have to have an issue. I mean, now I, now I can go make uh, one of those crazy farms. I've actually never made one before. A guardian farm? Never made one. No way. No way, no mining fatigue. Are you serious? Bro, I have so much milk. Oh God, no. What a save. We're good. I think we're, oh my God. I literally just decided to get 20 buckets of milk. I'm gonna keep one bucket of milk on me. Rest are going to the trash. Hey, it's been like 50 minutes since we found the diamonds and we get some diamonds. Lit it, it felt like a thousand blocks I had mined since I had really found any like good diamond veins. Wow, we're back, we're back. Oh, we're back, baby. We back, little four vein. All right, there we go. I know people probably do, so no. He's got, he's got an audience out there who wants to listen to it. Hey, more diamonds. We talk about dream, bro. Dreamy weemy. <laughs> that, that made my night for, yeah, that was good. I'm not listening to that. Hey, 
Hey, what? You love those diamond finds. Uh, another eight vein? Oh my gosh. Super stacker right here. Jeez, jeez, look at that. Oh my God, what? Any more, any more, any more? Holy guacamole. Wow, look at that. That's something I'm definitely not doing. Man, we gotta, we gotta save these diamonds. Put these in a, in a safe place. They're friends. I can talk poop at each other for free. Oh. Do you have to get like a test? I know my dad has a CDL to drive like uh, buses like that. More diamonds. Let's go. We like diamonds. That's great. Woo. Little bit of diamonds too. Let's go. All right. Eight. We've traveled 8,200. 8,200 blocks. Yeah, you got about... 1800 more blocks to go so not not too bad Ooh, diamonds how many diamonds can we get up to stack nah it's way too it's way too needy yeah 51 that's pretty close so pop it off uh oh <laughs> hey more diamonds let's go one that is the stupidest thing ever getting one diamond it was it had much more of an electric wine than i realized past diamonds Whoa, I did pass diamonds. Thankfully, I'm streaming this. Holy crap. I would have just missed eight diamonds. Eight ores. Yikes. There we go. Okay, well, usually people say you pass diamonds. They're kind of lying to you. Not lying to me right there. I think there's some funky looking cars. Oh my gosh, that was fast. There are four little diamonds. Jeez. Jeez. And we get actually zero. Oh my gosh. What is up with this? That's like three veins in a minute. We're on a, we're on a, on a roll. Simply just don't care. It's hilarious. Wow. What a diamond find too. 7% of retail day traders make more than a minimum wage from their day trades. So I was thinking to myself, cause I, I, I wanted to like get in more into investing. No. Oh my God another one you're kidding me you're absolutely kidding me i chucked out my other bucket of milk they're only i it's the same thing it's the same thing i have a thousand blocks to go and i get smacked with the mining fatigue oh my gosh my hole is three thousand blocks that way i honestly don't know what to do here bro do i go back up and see if i can find cows again i might just ditch my lava bucket at that point just grab a bucket of milk and go back down if this water, if there's a ravine that goes all the way up, we're chilling. Okay, well, I don't think there's gonna be any cows around me. Maybe cows over there? Sick, I'm in the middle of an ice spikes biome. Hmm, what do I do? Do I fly around it again? I could fly around it this time, but I feel like that's so anticlimactic, you know? Like, I could, uh, dude, I don't know, man. Like, I really freaking wanna just, like, keep going. I just got mining fatigue again. Okay, well, I'm gonna go look for some cows, because we're screwed anyways. Cows, come on. You know you want to give me some cows. Thank you. Wow, that... This is just getting absolutely insane. That is ridiculous. There's three all in, in, within a thousand blocks of each other. All in the exact same, like, location, too. That is ridiculous. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna milk up, boys. We're juicing up. All right. We have returned with milk for days. You stand no... Um, I swear, if it happens again where I don't get mining fatigue, I'm going to actually lose it this time. Oh, we came protected. Let's go. I'm actually happy I just got mining fatigue. I'm actually very happy I just got mining fatigue because we got we got, we got got a lot more milk where that came from. Bro, I wanted... Oh, time. I was about to say, we haven't found diamonds at all. This is like... Oh, wait, maybe we have. I don't know. I'm kind of... I don't know. It's very late at night. Kind of losing my mind now. Uh, but uh, we are only 80 blocks away from mining 10,000 blocks of straight line. Now, summarize for you guys, should you do this yourself? Absolutely not. Did I find a lot of diamonds? I would say so. I don't even know the exact count myself, uh, but I, I'm assuming it's around eight stacks of diamonds. I had a few stretches where I got really unlucky, had a few stretches where I got really lucky. I did absolutely no cave exploring where I would typically explore caves. Uh, and if you're wondering how long this took, this is around, uh, including all of the various 
issues I ran into mainly just with the mining fatigue. It's coming in at around three and a half hours of mining in a straight line. And uh, I'm tired. What are we at? We need uh, 20 more blocks. It was all right. It was an interesting project. I'm definitely not going to do any longer than this because golly, am I tired? Like at least mining in a chunk, it's fast paced. There's a lot of action going on. Uh, and this is just so monotonous. So we got one more block. 14,000. Negative. I'll just, I'll turn off my face cam real quick to prove to you guys. We got negative 400, negative 14,000. Meaning I mined in this exact straight line on Y level 11 for 10,000 blocks. We have 42 diamonds on me in this chest. Uh, all you guys really care about is diamonds and we can, we can grab the iron as well. Cause iron and diamonds is pretty much all we got. There's very little gold. Gold is a pretty impractical thing to mine for. I feel like if you're going to go hunting for gold, it's better just to make a gold farm on us. Like if you need a lot of gold for something. So, uh, didn't really get much gold. Didn't really look for it. Got, uh, and this was by the way, for any or other than diamonds, I just kept mining straight. I didn't pick up, I didn't intentionally mine iron. I didn't intentionally mine coal or redstone or lapis. This was simply just me mining straight through 10,000 blocks. And these are the ores that I was able to get. And then uh, with the other bit of diamonds, you got uh, four stacks, five stacks, one, two, three. That's five, six, seven, eight, just under eight stacks of diamonds. Uh, we were able to get over five stacks of iron, which is very impressive. So you got eight stacks of diamonds, five stacks of iron. We got a few stacks of coal. And also keep in mind, some of these blocks, I just didn't pick up. Uh, like genuinely, I just, it, inventory was full, probably missed some blocks, definitely missed some blocks and then condensed that down. So we got 55 diamond blocks. We got 36 blocks of iron once fully cooked and then 42 blocks of coal. And then coming in uh, with some redstone, we got honestly a good amount of emeralds as well. Some calcite, amethyst shards, Let's see what else we can condense this to. Make sure we get everything uh, nice and condensed up. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty successful haul. I would say to myself, that's a pretty successful haul. So today we're gonna go mining in a straight line for five hours. I don't know how many blocks that's gonna be. All I know is we are not prepared. We only have one pickaxe at the moment that is even slightly able to do this challenge. So we're going to go craft some new diamond pickaxes. We're going to go get the enchants required. We're probably not going to put mending on these to be honest. Probably just going to chuck efficiency and unbreaking on them. And here we go. We got five hours left or it's got to count up to five hours. This will be very great time. Oh, yes. Starting off with lava. This is just... This is how everyone wants to start off. Oh, yes. How do I, I can't, I can't mine. I can't mine in an exact straight line, all right? Listen, I like to mine on Y5, negative 58. Maybe for this challenge. Okay, yeah, I can't. I'm gonna have to go up. I will mine in a straight line. I might have to go up at some point, all right? Uh, as you'll have to see, but it will be straight. It will be straight. Like, I will stay on negative 2,000 on the x-axis, uh, but, you know, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dig through lava, that's for sure. Like I said, every little bit of ore, we're grabbing it. Gold, diamonds. I think the only thing that literally spawns this low is gold, diamonds, and redstone. If I want, I could mine on, like, Y level negative 20? And I'd have a chance at getting everything, but really, I'm, I'm out here to get some, some diamonds. I'm in for diamonds. Maybe... Maybe like the three hour mark, I'll switch to Y negative like 10 and I'll try to get more iron and coal because the higher up you go, the less likely you are to find diamonds. But the lower you go, the more likely you are to find redstone, gold and diamonds. So yeah, I think that's the plan. First few hours, we'll just stack up on diamonds, gold and redstone. And then the last few hours we will go up and then we'll mine on a different Y level, still a straight line, uh, but we'll get some different resources. Hey, our first diamond. Very nice. That's four minutes in. See, that is why I'm here at Y negative 58. This is where you find the diamonds. This is where I'm, this is why I'm here. Only 13. That kind of sucks. Oh, wait, you can find iron down here. Oh, shoot. I thought you couldn't. Oh, maybe we will stay just down here the whole time. All right. Hey. 
Diamonds. Honestly, man, I mind. I don't know, 10, 20,000 diamonds in my days. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. It, get, it gets to a point where diamonds, they're, it's great. Listen, I like, I love diamonds. Especially, like, in, in this world, I'm pretty down bad at diamonds, so it's nice to find them. But it's, I don't know. I'm kind of numb to finding diamonds. You know, you, you've, when, once you've found your thousandth vein of diamonds, you're like, ah, okay, all right, that's that, that's cool. But, you know, all right, you know, on to the next. All right, about 20 minutes in, and we just hit the thousand block mark, so... Uh, that means every every 20 minutes we can mine a thousand blocks, which means every hour three thousand blocks. Hey, diamonds! Ooh, is that a eight eight vein? Solid. And we just oh my god, that'd have been really bad if we just happened to mine diamonds and they all get burnt. 20 minutes in, we're at a stack of diamonds. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, the amount of diamonds at this level is absolutely insane. It is really boring to mine down here because you never run into caves. You never run into mine shafts. It's just deep slate and occasional lava pools, but lots and lots and lots of diamonds. I mean, yeah, like, look, this will be a cave, but it's just like super, super small. So we should cover around 15,000 blocks in the five hours of doing this challenge, which is, which is pretty insane when you put it that way. Whoa, uh, this is a cave. All right, where did I come from? I just come from, oh, whoa, no, was it right here? Yeah, okay, I was making sure I was coming in the straight line. Gotta, gotta keep the line going on. But this, this is a site, is there any diamonds? Hey, I found some diamonds. I will take those. Yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go snag those real quick. BRB, any more? No, that's a zombie, oops. It's a good, it's a good change of sight from uh, just Constantly seeing deep slate, nothing else. All right, well, back down we go. Back down in the mines we go. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll probably change. We'll, we'll, we'll change my Y level at some point, but we found about two stacks of diamonds so far to pause them in the shulker box. It's been in about, about an hour, so we're we're trucking along just fine. All right, I'm gonna be totally honest. I pressed the record button. I've been mining for the last 20 minutes. Not too much has happened. I did find an entire geode, mined it out, collected, uh... Pretty much the entire geode. We're up to around three stacks of diamonds. We are around 3,000 blocks into this. Whoa. Holy cave. This is wicked. Yo. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't done much cave exploring. This is so sick. Oh my god. Gosh, I mean, these caves 1000% beats the old 1.17 caves. These are pretty gnarly waterfalls. I'm actually shocked I don't see any diamonds. No, no, oh, no, nothing. All right, well, looks like we're going back under again. It's like I always, like, I come up for air to get up from under lava, see these crazy caves, and then, yeah, <laughs> we go back under. Ah, shoot. No, oh, wait, it's just one? Oh, it was a big attention. I just mined it. It was just one diamond. Come on, Mike. You gotta give me more than one. You know I'm gonna mess up like that. You cannot be doing me like that, man. And two hours later, what are we at? Uh, 6,900 blocks traveled, which puts us uh, at around 5,000 blocks traveled. Two hours. Not, uh, not too shabby, but... I want to change the scenery. I'm getting a little bored, to be honest. I'm going to go ahead. I think it's time to put up some of these blocks in the shulker box. And uh, yeah, we just want to change the scenery. I think I'm going to go mine at Y level. Let's go Y negative 45. Because I feel like that's still low enough to where we should have a pretty good chance of finding diamonds. But also, we should have a pretty good chance of like running into some caves. Also, just getting some more ores. Honestly, I don't know. That's a random number. There we go. 45 we'll see uh at this point we're just gonna start i can't make this up you can't make this up man this is crazy i am so good at mining even though it is completely luck based i am so so good at it it is crazy well maybe we'll stick with y45 negative 45 maybe yeah maybe it's a sign maybe we'll stick with it for a little bit see how it goes maybe 20 30 minutes see how we're liking it and uh maybe we'll go up maybe we'll go back down who knows see there you go it's just a 
It's a mine shaft. I didn't even know mine shaft spawned this low. This is crazy. And well, looks like it's time for pickaxe number three. All right, listen. Y45, maybe the new Y negative 50, 58, negative 45, negative 58. Same thing. I'll, I'll take it. All right, all right. Oh, dude, that's three. Three veins in 10 minutes. In the last, oh my gosh, hour, I'd only found three veins that felt like uh, on negative 58. Boy, we might have just stumbled upon something new, something revolutionary. Oh my, four veins. As, oh, okay, well, three and a half, three and a half. That's that's half of it, all right? It was one diamond, all right? <laughs> it doesn't count for much. Oh, buddy. Oh, whoa, a dripstone cave. Now, this is one I haven't seen before. A dripstone cave. Oh, that, that's just the sky up there. Whoa, crazy. Hey, diamonds. That's actually a big vein for right there. Ooh, but whoa, diamond and iron. All righty, all righty. Oh, oh, it's one of those. I was about to say, that's a lot of iron. Yeah, it's one of those like mega veins. All right. That's, hey, one day, raw iron blocks, raw diamond blocks. Trust. Ooh, is this a lush cave? biome? It's gotta be. There can't just be clay lying around if this isn't a lush cave biome, but where's the... Ah, there it is. Okay. I was like, where's the... There's a clay, but where's the... Where's the lushness? Ah, there we go. So I think we've seen, like, all the caves. See, dripstone, lush caves. All right. These are by far my favorite. I'm gonna snag one of these, and I have also completely gotten off track, but that's fine because, uh, I know I'm on negative 2,000 on the y-axis, so Oh, that's all right. Oh my, oh my, wait, what? Bro, this one's, this vein's huge. Holy crap. Oh no, eh, we're back, we're good. Oh, another, another geode? Ah, uh, all right, at least we hit a second geode, all right? You guys didn't get to see the first one because I wasn't recording, I goofed up. We're not gonna mind this one because we've already done it. Uh, But funny thing is when I was doing the first one, I actually found diamonds behind one of the walls, which is crazy. So maybe there's diamonds hiding behind these walls and I'm gonna miss it. It's gonna be my fault because I'm too lazy, but hey, too bad, so sad. I feel like the veins aren't that big down here, but I am finding quite, quite a lot of diamonds, though, I will say that. Oh, and a minute later, an eight vein, and we're up to one, two, three, four, five stacks. Jeez, man, we are steadily still. We're we're still on Y. Oh wait, negative fifty. We're on Y negative fifty four. Hold up, I don't I don't know. I got turned around. I don't know. I'm at Y negative fifty four. Anyways, we're still cranking out diamonds. We're on. We're about nine thousand blocks and just over a little over nine thousand. And let's see, we're at thirty six blocks of diamonds. Add this. That's probably another ten or so. So we might be able to get around ten stacks of diamonds, which would be absolutely insane from this. That's like three vein, like a, we're getting a vein a minute over here. Every time I change Y levels, we just get tons of diamonds. It's so weird. I, what, like, what are we saying? What is happening? Let's freaking go. Another geode? Holy crap. This is Geode Nation. Oh, and we get some, uh, all right. See, that is what I'm willing to snag. I will snag some shards. Those are hard to come by. All right, thank you. Ma uh, diamonds. Diamonds and geodes. Maybe that's the new lapis trick. If you guys remember, there used to be a, uh, a trick in 1.17 before. If you found lapis, you could find diamonds. Maybe if you find geodes. You could find diamonds. Maybe that's the new the new thing. I also kind of realized that my netherite pickaxe this entire time with mending on it, it's just able to stay fully minted. So I never needed to use other pickaxes or, you know, have other diamond pickaxes. I could have just used one pickaxe the entire time and I would have been perfectly fine. But now we've got four other diamond pickaxes in case we ever need them. Bro, every like two minutes. It's a vein of diamonds. This is sick. What are we on? 54. All right, we're still on Y54. And just crossed over the four hour mark. So one hour. What? This is a double vein. These are two separate veins. No way. Oh my God. That, okay. This could have been one of those absolutely insane mega veins. Anyways. We're up to 48 diamonds, and we are, we just crossed, wow, what great timing. We just crossed 12,000 on the Z axis, which means we're 10,000 blocks in. So we've, we've mined over 10,000 blocks. We're four hours in. We've probably just crossed uh, the stack of diamond blocks 
threshold. We're cruising. We are maximum cruise run out. Going good. Going good. I will say though, I don't think I've had to build over a single lava pool like this entire time. So on Y negative 58, I have to build up usually it's like Y negative 54. So if you just mine a Y negative 54, I'm just usually like cruising over these lava pools like it's nothing. So this might actually be the best level in terms of it just also not being annoying. It's kind of like Y level. Technically, if you mined at Y level five, it was better for diamonds, but you ran into way more lava lakes in uh, 1.17. So everyone just mined at Y level 11. Um, so it's kind of like the same thing for this. So probably negative 59 is better. Negative 50 is better. But it's just less of a headache to mine on negative 54. Oh my goodness. Yeah, chilling. Actually, are we chilling? Hold up. 49, 7. Actually, no. We're not yet. We're not in the clear yet. We still, we have 30 minutes and we kind of need to find. Okay, well, <laughs> that was really good timing to find some more diamonds, but we need to find like half a sack of diamonds in the next 30 minutes, which I think we should be able to do. It's only like three or four more like good veins. And then we should be good for a sack of diamond blocks. Hey, I was just sitting back trying to relax for the last little bit. Look at diamonds. They were nice. Whoa, look at that one. Two, whoa, four, five. No way. All right, we're, we're setting up for this one, boys. <laughs> whoa, that was, I was expecting one because usually when you find exposed diamonds like that, they're just they're usually like just one nowadays. It was a five. So that should put us, this should be 14 plus 49 would be 63 plus seven. We might be just there. Either we're either at 63 diamond blocks exactly or at 64. We might have like some spare. I don't know. I think we might be there. We might be there. If we find one more diamond, just one more diamond, we'll be chilling. All right, we're down to the final 30 seconds, which is crazy to say. But all in all, this wasn't a terrible challenge thing to do. Um, I know I'm going to walk out of this with a ton of materials. I really need it. At the end of the day, I mean, that's what mining is. You have to get down and do wow. Wow, wow, wow. What of oh that dude, that's a bait. Okay. Screw you, Minecraft. Screw you. You have to get down and dirty in the in the mines, you know, to, to get your resources. Really, you can make your iron farms and your gold farms, but still you've got to AFK those. And with this update, it's still super time resourceful and efficient to just go out and mine. Uh, and with that, we've crossed the five hour mark. I'm gonna head up, uh, head back to my base, and we are gonna tally up everything, see what we got. All right, well, the totals for everything are in this chest right here. Gonna go and reveal it. We ended up getting a stack of redstone blocks, just over a stack of redstone blocks, just under a stack of lapis blocks. Same thing, just under a stack of gold blocks. I obviously, I'm gonna have to, um, unstack these, smelt them, and then these would be gold ingots. Same thing for the iron. I uh, got just over, pretty much, just over like a half a stack of iron blocks. And then we came in clutch with a full stack of diamond blocks with two leftover diamonds, 28 slime balls, and then we had all of this uh, amethyst, calcite, and the shards we ended up picking up. So that is what you find when you mine in a straight line in Minecraft for five hours. Today, I'm gonna be mining in a straight line for 10 hours. Now, you may be wondering why I'm doing this. Now, there's two actually good reasons for this. Now, this is the hardcore world that I've just started on. We are on day 125, so resources are low. If you check my diamond chest, 44 diamonds. That's low in my books. So we just overall have not done a lot of mining. So 10 hours is an excessive amount of mining, but this should put us on track to where we basically never have to go mining again. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead, start the timer. Uh, once that reaches 10 hours, we will be done. Also, I will be doing this over multiple days because 10 hours in a single day, that is just absolutely absurd. Uh, but yes, this will be one straight continuous line. We are currently, just so you guys can sort of see what, what I'm seeing, we're starting off on uh, X70. Uh, and so after 10 hours, uh, I, I I forgot how fast uh, I was mining uh, during the five hour. I think you can mine around 2,000 blocks an hour. 
Um, so maybe we'll mine like 20,000 blocks or like 15,000 blocks. Uh, sick, we're already in a lava pool. That's that's awesome. But yeah, we if we are not on a Y or Z157, we've messed up somewhere. Uh, but the X coordinate, we should end up around negative 15, negative 20,000 or so after about 10 hours. And our first diamond find, I wasn't even looking. We're already finding diamonds. We will take that. Oh, let's go. Also, I want to make a prediction. Usually... I find around a stack and a half of diamonds per hour, 10 hours. I'm thinking 15 stacks of diamonds. That's a pretty fair, I would say, assumption. 15 stacks of diamonds. That would be pretty awesome. I have absolutely no clue how to predict how much gold or iron I'm going to find because in the new update, it's just really RNG. Uh, and I really don't even want to collect too much redstone. I'm just going to keep mining it to mend up my pickaxe. Guys, I really don't want to have to turn back and run 15,000 blocks. That's going to suck. Oh, dude, it's literally a minute later. <laughs> We're a minute later. And we're finding more diamonds. If this keeps up, we'll end up with 15 stacks of diamond blocks. Not even just 15 stacks of diamonds. Oh, brother. We're six minutes in. 24 diamonds. Jeez. Man, I, I gotta slow my roll. We got, we got nine hours and 54 minutes left. This is what I'm really after, though. I'm really after some iron veins. Bro, 10 minutes in. I mean, listen, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep flexing on you. If I keep finding these diamonds, I just got to keep, I got to keep telling you about them. And the diamonds just don't stop coming. And a bada bang, bada boom. There is one stack of diamonds. More than a stack of diamonds in 19 minutes. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's insane. We're on, that's insane. That's insane. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro, that was like... What? Not, not, it was like 10 blocks. Bro, I, I, yo, I hope my editor doesn't cut that. Because that was just like... <laughs> that was like 10 blocks. Not even, bro. I'm telling you, this is, this, is, this is meant to be, all right? Listen, I forgot to mention this. But I've been thinking about doing a special video of mining 100,000 blocks in a straight line. And so if you guys really want to see that video happen, I don't have a light goal in mind. But I'm thinking something, uh, something like 10,000. 10,000 likes. I'll mine 100,000 blocks in a straight line, all right? Hey, a deal is a deal. You're trolling me. I was just mining for <laughs> redstone to just mend my big axe. <laughs> Dude, well, Minecraft just wants to give me as many <laughs> diamonds. It's been 26 minutes. 26 minutes and I've got a stack and a half. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. And yet again, mining for... Oh my gosh. Mine for gold. You get diamonds. You get a bit of redstone. You get... A, where's the lapis? Where's the iron? Just just, just, <laughs> just give me every ore while we're at it. Uh, dude. Uh, I, okay. 32 minutes in. 32 minutes in. We are at... Two stacks. The, okay. Yup. This is record pace. I'm on record. My record, all time record, is five stacks of diamonds in 60. Yeah. This is absolutely absurd. You see, one, two, three, four, five. That is six blocks. And that right there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 blocks. From the last vein, in 20 blocks, we got three veins. Of th this is this is too much for me to handle. I have absolutely no clue what's going on. I think I've said that like five times, and I apologize, but it, it's true. We're up to literally two stacks of diamonds. 34 minutes. We can get four stacks in an hour at this point. What a way to start off the 10-hour session. Dude, I, I picked the perfect straight line. I will say this, this uh, Z157... It's got some to it. If you guys need any lucky numbers, I think 157 just might be that lucky number. And 157 strikes again. Dude, I'm just, we're going to keep going. I'm not going to say anything else. We're just going to keep going. And another six. Another six, uh, six vein of diamonds. And if this doesn't end, I will walk out of here with like 40 stacks of diamonds. That is not even a joke. 10 hours, if this keeps up, 40 stacks. Hey, first mega iron vein we found too. All right, that's what we're talking about. You know it's one of these mega iron veins because you'll get one of these blocks of raw iron, which is still really weird. I think it'd be cool if they had one of these mega gold veins too. Maybe 
in the next 1.19 update, we can get mega diamond veins or whatever they're called. I don't know. We can get blocks of diamond, raw diamonds or whatever. Because getting blocks of raw iron is pretty cool. But, I mean, I don't know. Block of raw gold, raw diamond? That would be, that'd be pretty sick too. I can't even lie. Ah, our first cave. Interesting. I mean, listen, we're going to mine in a straight line. Yes. That doesn't mean we can't go explore a cave when we find one. Because when you mine this deep down, oof, it is uh, it's pretty tough to find caves, I'll be honest. But wait, we can maybe get a disc out of this. <gasps> no. No, we literally hit it. Hey, we got diamonds, though. <laughs> we didn't get a music disc. We got some diamonds. And surprisingly, these big caves are usually pretty solid for diamonds as well. And other ores. But like I said, when you're this deep down, you rarely run into these big caves. It's usually like Y level zero where you'll run into these like massive, massive caves. I was like, man, the amount of times those, those vines have baited me into thinking they're diamonds. Like right there, boom. I think it's diamonds. It's crazy. Like, boom. That was diamonds. Nope. I'll be honest. We slowed down a little bit on the diamonds. Probably the last we'll find within the hour, but... We still found nearly three stacks in the first hour. That's impressive. Also, an hour in, we are negative 2,000 on the x-axis. So yeah, looks about, we, we cover about 2,000 blocks in an hour. So we should be able to cover around 20,000 blocks in 10 hours, which means if I wanted to mine 100,000 blocks, that would be 50 hours, or would it? And they just don't stop coming. All right, we're going to do our first deposit into the shulker box. And from here on out, it's just going to be a slow and steady grind. I'm losing it, bro. I don't get what it, Brian. I don't get what's happening. Oh, yo. All right, I'm going to go snag the quartz for that because I definitely need some of those materials for a build later. Ooh, it's kind of sick, honestly. Uh, what do you want to call it? A lush caves lava lake? I... I have never seen this before. This is sick. We got the cords and we found some diamonds. Just one. That's fine. All right. It's another day, but that just means we got some more mining to do. So let's get to it. And oh my gosh, what a, what a sick bio we have just found. Whoa, 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 whoa. They want me dead. This bio wants me dead. Good God almighty. Bro, okay, well, now that we have evaded death and all of our enemies, this biome... Hey, we found some diamonds, too! This biome looks freaking sick. Um, I don't think... Listen, I don't think you guys are supposed to be down here. Uh, Nemo is dead. Nemo is dead. These guys are gonna die. You know what? You're coming with me! We're coming with me! Yeah, <laughs> Nemo, you're coming with me, buddy. You're gonna stick with me. Yo, this is crazy, though. Yeah, this biome, this one's dope. Dude, dude, what's happening, bro? Is there, like, a fish farm going on over here? Oh, my God. I just looked down, and there's a bunch of fish dying. First time into the day. Always a good start. Ooh, nine vein. Jeez. I must miss these. Hey, they just, like, kind of blended in. Low-key, not really. My biggest plan right now is just keeping this little man alive. I can care less about the diamonds. Is that two stacks I see? Two stacks I see indeed. Come on. Let's go. Is that going to be three stacks of diamonds? Almost. Nearly. There it is. Oh my gosh. Look at the two stacks. We, we might end up with 20 stacks of diamonds. Just looking, looking solid. Oh, what a cave we have here jeez gotta make sure keep mr fishy alive crossing this lava lake this will this will be a little bit of a treacherous journey if he yo just almost swam off another day another diamond to mine let's keep it going all right all right all right honestly i just kind of need diamonds at this point to mend my pickaxe i i think it'd be really cool to do this challenge we're about halfway in nearly and we have only lost about half of this pickaxe. So I think that'd be sick if we mined for 10 hours and didn't lose a single pickaxe. It'd be kind of sick. Hey, and that's why I mined a straight line. If I didn't mind that little block right there, to keep going on the straight line, I wouldn't find that diamond. Ooh, a late stack. A late stack. I'll take it. 
up to two more stacks. Hey, another cave, some diamonds, sick. Ooh, ooh, any more, any more? Come on. Oh, the pickaxe is so close to being mended. And we have like three stacks of diamonds, let's go. And the most important thing is I still got this fish with me in my bucket. I never even, did I name this guy? I can't even remember. Just my good old boy, Fishy. All right, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my, whoa. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That is a oh my gosh. That is literally one of the rarest things in all of Minecraft. A mega vein. It's where two veins in separate chunks spawn right beside each other that has happened to me one time before you're kidding me oh my that was 16 diamonds 16 diamonds oh my that is that is it that is the highlight of this entire operation that might be a world record that literally is has to be tied for the world record diamond but you cannot you literally cannot find a larger diamond vein in Minecraft unless you combine three chunks together, which would be one in like a billion. Like this is like literally like one in like a million. That'd be one in a billion. Oh, but that was like 30 diamonds in one vein. Wait, what? How? How? The chunk border's right here. This isn't even a chunk border. I just turned on chunk borders. This isn't even a... This isn't even a chunk border, bro. What? I just found 16 diamonds in the middle of a chunk. The chunk borders... Where are they? So there's a chunk border right here. So it's just smack dab in the middle of a chunk. I just found 16 diamonds. I can't... I cannot explain that in the slightest. But that that might be a world record diamond find because that wasn't even uh, two chunks. That was just one vein, one chunk, 16 diamonds. Okay, well, I guess take a screenshot of the cords in case I ever want to come back here for proof or something like that. I guess this is probably a good time to put all my goodies up uh, for the time being. Six hours in, little eight stack. It's a good, uh, it's a good little milestone find. I'll take it. As far as this goes, we are 12,000 blocks deep into this. We're actually almost 13,000 blocks deep into this. And, uh, all right, take some gold. Oh, have I found a geode yet? After this much mining, I can't remember what I have and haven't found. But a geode, it's always good to see one of these. I've already found a ton before this. Uh-oh, my fish, my fish, he's vibing. I gotta save him. Saved! Well, about another hour later, and we're up to, uh, three stacks. So, this is, this trip is turning out to be rather insane. Nothing, pretty much, or actually nothing, uh, eventful has happened. I regret to inform you, uh, I started the last day, which is good, made good progress, 30 minutes in, my fish has died. Within the first, literally, like, five minutes, uh, the fish I had been carrying in my bucket had died, and I guess I could do uh, a little dramatic reenactment for you guys because I forgot to press my record button because this is day like four of mining and I'm starting to kind of lose it a little bit. It was a really weird situation and I had my fish bucket in my offhand and I was placing blocks. I right clicked, uh, place it down, and then lava ended up just going on top of the fish Okay, this is making it basically that. Yeah, basically that's how the fish died. Rest in peace, Mr. Homie, and back to the mining. Good thing is, there's only about two hours left. We've got another uh, two stacks in the last like 30 minutes of uh, mining. We should be done shortly. We just found a ton of diamonds, but I'm gonna be honest, after eight hours of mining, di finding diamonds isn't a whole lot exciting. So that's why We've, we've, we're up to over three stacks of diamonds and I haven't really been showing a whole lot recently. You know, we're still grinding just as hard. It's just, I don't know, it's just not as exciting after eight hours of finding diamonds in a 
a straight line. This is probably the biggest cave I've found. One, two, is that it? Just two? The zombies almost look like diamonds for a second. That's how long I've been mining. I'm kind of loose over here. Two diamond spawns, and I know that's just one, and that's probably just one. That's too, that's too much work. You know you're, you have way too many diamonds when you're not even willing to make the journey to get some diamonds. Oh, shoot! That was pretty close. That's probably the closest vein. That's, that, I found a vein right here. Two seconds ago. One, this is one vein. One, two, three, four. And then another vein. Those four blocks. And then this is a pretty massive vein as well. There's that other huge 16 vein. And then that could have, that was almost, almost a mega vein. Just six, four blocks. That would have been chilling. Well, only an hour remaining in the challenge. Pretty stoked to say I made it this far. And honestly, I'm just most hyped to see what all we've got because just looking at my inventory knowing what all we've mined we've definitely got a ton of gold not too much iron we've mined a ton of diamonds trust me when i say that so hopefully we can end off strong maybe get another two sacks diamond or so uh two or three sacks of gold and then of course tally it up at the end bro that was another huge vein hold up my editor can go back and count that up. That wasn't a 16 vein. That wasn't as big as 16. That wasn't eight though. That was like 10, 12. I guess that's in the new Minecraft code to where they can just have huge veins or something. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just kind of mining. Just, you know, you know, minding my own business. Boom, huge vein. But I don't know how that, I wasn't counting. That adds up to my editor. So yo, shout out to him. All right, let's see if we can get a disc here. I really, I don't even, do I have a music disc on this world? Oh, I don't even know. That's not gonna work. I already hit the skeleton once. And I'm only thinking this because that guy's got an enchanted bow. The skeleton's got an enchanted bow. Dude, I'm taking kind of a lot of damage from this guy. Not even gonna cap. Oh, that's one shot. Hey, we got a music disc. Which one is it? I don't even know. If, is that a good one? I don't even know. But I will take a little music disc. Yeah, I guess we'll play that when we get back. I don't even know if it's a good one. There's so many music discs. I know the good one. I think that's a pretty good one. I know the really good ones. I think that's a pretty good one. All right, we'll take it. Music discs, solid. All right, winding down. We got about 10 minutes left. We'll see if we can find any more diamonds. I mean, we've already got four stacks in our inventory, which is a pretty good haul. Hey, we found some. Sweet, that's a pretty good haul too. Take it. Little, wow, what a buzzer beater find. Even if it's only two diamonds, I will take that. Oh my, literally with a, with a minute left on the clock too. Alrighty. And there is the 10 hour mark. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, that is not what I wanna do. Stash up all of the goodies once and for all. Take out these rockets. Uh, put on my light show. We're actually gonna go and fly back to the base. Tally up everything that we got. All right, we're finally back after... That was like a 30-minute flight. Jeez, but we're back. Yeah, I'm just gonna get straight to it. We ended up getting around 20 stacks of raw gold. I'm gonna keep in mind, I didn't really do much cave exploring. Any caves I ran into, if I found diamonds, uh, I tried to grab them. But obviously, I passed up a lot of gold and iron. Uh, I really didn't get that much iron. I got basically double the amount of gold as I did iron. I thought I'd get way more iron than gold. Uh, but we got about nine sacks of iron. As far as the lapis and redstone, I could have got way more if I wanted to. Honestly, I just didn't really care for it because that stuff's super easy to get. So we got about 12 stacks of lapis, six stacks of redstone, but you guys are here for the diamond count and it is in this chest after 10 hours of mining in a straight line of Minecraft. We ended up getting over 20 stacks of diamonds in Minecraft. So definitely I don't have to go mining for quite some time. Today I'm gonna to be mining in a straight line until I find an ancient city in the new Minecraft 1.19 update. We are currently stood here on zero zero in this brand new world just to see how many blocks it takes to mine to get there. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And if you're wondering where ancient cities spawn at, technically they spawn here down at Y negative 52. That is what my current Y level is. 
but for the sake of just a little bit of caution, uh, I'm gonna be mining at Y negative 50, just in case, I don't know, I might do some blocks, don't notice and miss it, but I'm trying to pick what direction. I'm just gonna spin in a bunch of circles. I don't know which way uh, is which, and how about this? This looks like a fine old dandy way to mine in a straight line. So I've done this plenty of times before mining in a straight line, uh, just to find how many diamonds I can get, but I've never mined in a straight line trying to find a structure, probably because structures usually generate on a bunch of different Y levels, but since the ancient cities actually spawn on the exact same Y level every time, and they're really big, I'm talking like, this is a little clip of how big an ancient city is on the inside. You've got a good like two to 300 blocks in either direction that should give you a pretty good margin of error. And also if you guys are going to be trying to find an ancient city yourself, uh, this could give you like a little heads up. Maybe this takes like three hours and I'm just absolutely screwed and I don't recommend this method to you guys. Or on the other hand, this can be a super fast and easy way to find the new ancient cities because everyone's gonna be wanting to do sneak and chant. Everyone's gonna be hopefully avoiding the warden. But once we do find our ancient city, I'm gonna take on the warden 1v1 the guy and we're gonna see who comes out on top. And also the good thing about Y negative 50 is it's actually a pretty decent Y level to find diamonds on. So even if you don't happen to find an ancient city doing this method, hopefully we'll still be able to pick up some diamonds along the way. Well, we uh, found some diamonds. And for this, I don't have a fortune pickaxe, just a regular old pickaxe. So I guess I'll be seeing how much iron, gold, and then uh, I guess just raw diamonds we can manage to find because I have a feeling these, this ain't city is not gonna be too easy to find. So we might be finding a lot of different ores uh, along the way. Hey, some more diamonds. All right, just, uh, just one, okay. Hey, some more diamonds. Yeah, dang. This could just turn into a, uh, a diamond mining video. This isn't even an ancient city. This is just how many diamonds can I find mining in a straight line? Because apparently, I guess Y level 50 or negative 50 is pretty, pretty goaded. All right, we're about 700 blocks in so far. Nothing crazy. Like, I'm expecting to go a few thousand blocks in order to reach this. And uh, we've got about 19 diamonds, some gold, a little bit of iron. And we're going strong and some more diamonds all righty well we're just over 1100 blocks so far about around 1100 blocks and uh no sign of an ancient city very very saddened about that they just don't stop coming do they holy crap well i keep finding these caves these small little caves but i need to be a deep dark cave ultimately that's what i'm looking for is if i can at least find the deep dark biome hopefully i can just cave traverse my way into the actual city but uh no city no biome yet pain wait yo oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot i didn't i didn't back myself any swords yo creeper you want to you want to blow them up yeah yeah, yeah. strategically blow the strategic yep 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 yep, yep. for a little bit the spawners okay this i mean listen this is pretty much a brand new world we get sweeping edge three that's actually fire though holy crap Yo, Spider, get down from there. We actually, uh, we actually found some sick. Alrighty, well, uh, I believe we're around the, uh, 2,000 block mark. And like I said, I, I, I'm getting a bad feeling about the, this one. I'm getting a pretty bad feeling about this one. Well, I may not have found an ancient city, but the diamonds, they'll put the paint just, just a tiny amount. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh, shoot. Little, little amethyst crystal. I haven't uh, run into one of these yet. These are always fun. Too bad I don't actually need any of these amethyst crystals or else I would, would gladly scoop them all up. Back to the mission. All right, we should be at 3,100 blocks of mine so far in this expedition. And, uh, ooh, convenient timing. We just find a sick old cave. There's a diamond up there, but, ah, uh, whoa. There's a creeper too, bro. I gotta go. We got a skedaddle out of here. Bro, I got the whole squad chasing me. This is not, this is not how I intended this to go. I still don't have a sword and I would really appreciate it if they don't bash me up. All right, we're good. We're back on track. Dude, these little stupid zombies that can't even hop up and hit me. All right, anyways, let's keep on trucking. Wait, actually, let me see before we do. Is, there, is that an amethyst? I, I, this, I don't have optifine yet, so I can't zoom out. I think I see some purple over there. Do I see any deep, dark biomes any, anywhere? Like, I don't I don't know how to find them. I know deep, dark is 
it's dark, it's deep. And so I'm pretty deep. I'm pretty much almost as low as you can go in the game. But I haven't even seen the biome yet. Gosh, dang. And this should be... Oh, is that literally just one? I needed <laughs> just one diamond to get my first full stack. And this is without Fortune 3. So we have mined an absolute ton of diamonds so far. You know, still actually like way more diamonds like gold and iron, which is pretty funny. But listen, diamonds, like I keep saying, diamonds are cool and all, but the ancient city, bro. I just want to see the warden, dude. I just want to say what up to my bro. All right, I did just find something strange. I just found bone blocks in just tough, the tough blocks over here. And then I, I kept going to see how far it went. And it's like it's one of those skeletal structures. But then you've got diamonds here. And if there's more diamonds, what, is this new to one dot night? What is this? I have never seen this in all my 1.18 mining. I've never ran into a structure underground or like in the ground. It's just got diamonds. It's got diamonds in the bones, bro. What is this? What is this? Holy crap. Okay, yeah, it is one of those structures, but did I miss this on the patch notes? If this has always been here, I'm sorry for showing you guys this, but I have never ran into this. I'm talking like ever. This is crazy. It's just like so random. All right, well... That's pretty sick. I mean, after uh, after about 4,000 blocks, you ran into one of those. So that's that's pretty cool. All right. And there goes 4,000 blocks mined. I don't know when this is going to end. And well, speaking of I don't know when this is going to end, we just hit the 5,000 block mark. And I did just pass a, uh, a big old a, a cave, cave system with it's a, it's a lush cave system. Is that an emerald up there? Oh, I don't know why that just happened, uh, but I just passed this and I, I kind of want to explore, but I feel like that wouldn't be mining in a straight line. Like I have to, I want to mine straight into it or straight into a deep dark biome and then I can go exploring. I don't want to go exploring and then find deep dark biome and then find, it feels like it's kind of missed the point of the video. So we're going straight through. We're just going running straight through. And well, I think we are about, yeah, 6,000 blocks in. We do get greeted with, I guess, a celebratory 6,000 block chest after I beat up this zombie with a big ax. That sucks. Okay, I mean, at least at least a gapple and a chance to gapple, a book of some kind. That, that'd be pretty... Yo, if you just give me a map to an ancient city, that'd also be pretty sick. I'm kind of losing it. If I did ten, if I had 10,000 blocks and I don't find this stupid city, I, I honestly, I've got no clue what's going to happen. I'm just going to full tilt lose it, all right? Checking back in, guys. I'm checking back in because you know what that means? 7,000 blocks mined in a straight line. And no ancient city. Um, I, I, I might not happen. It, I'm losing faith. I'm starting to slowly, not even slowly, pretty rapidly here, pretty rapidly lose some faith as to what's happening and what's going on. Hey guys, little quick little update. Your, your favorite ancient city hunter back at the gate. Hey, look, diamonds. That's cool. They used to ease my pain. Now the diamonds don't ease my pain in the slightest. Uh, 8,000 blocks in. Faith rapidly deteriorating i'll let that you guys at 9,000 blocks hopefully i don't know h city in the next you know thousand uh, probably not but uh, we'll see do you guys do you guys see what i see are we all seeing the same miracle the hole that i have just resurrected out of it has do it deep dark this deep dark biome i don't even know what to do now so we're not an ancient city in the slightest and this room seems to be like entrapped and caved which isn't good but yeah dude i'm just just have let me just jump around real quick let me just have a little bit of blast with the skulk sensors oh it's a skulk block has it got some xp or no wait what is this why is it taking forever to mine what is this oh i just got x oh i just got some xp from that that's pretty sick uh yeah i guess i just have to 50 50 and go a direction and see if I could find some more caves because I know there are a ton of caves in here so I think I'm going to strip mine now from here in different directions because I didn't run into anything else previously so if I strip mine there I feel like you know 100 blocks there 100 blocks there 100 blocks there hopefully I'll run into something uh and since this side has the most deep darkness I'm just going to start here and then we can go to that side just keep strip mining my way to hopefully an ancient city oh my god 
It worked. I'm in the cave. Oh, dude, I still don't have a sword. I think I, I can just sprint through this. I'm pretty sure. I mean, at this point, I still don't really know what I'm looking for. Like how they generate within like the underground structures. Like it's a, it has to be a Y50. Oh, dude, that's not good. That's I mean, that means there's an ancient city here because I have darkness i just got given darkness okay i'm chilling i'm chilling i'm not sprint jumping that was sketch bro why did it just give me darkness it's not even i mean maybe that means there's a warden near me i don't know uh yo excuse you dude D bro we're not doing this man we're not doing this i literally have night vision effect like an infinite effect on just so i can see in the dark and it still doesn't even do anything. Yo, look at that. Holy crap. That looks wicked. All right, I'm still, still not trying to die. I mean, I'm just going to follow this as long as I can. And if I reach a dead end, I'm just going to keep mining. I just got to keep going. Got to keep moving and grooving. Yo, this looks sick. Oh, this is so worth it. I'll find, I, listen, I'm not going to stop looking around here until I find this ancient city. But this just looks so wicked. Yo, this is my first time being in this biome. And Minecraft, they did a fantastic job with this. This looks absolutely insane. I hit another dead end. So I am just going to be... Hey, look, diamonds. That's uh, that's actually pretty wicked. Just going to mine a bit. Same thing. I'm just hoping, man. Oh. I just heard something. Yo. We've done it. We've done it. I'm going to be totally honest and say that I know this wasn't a what the. Why does that look like there's some sort of majestical thing going on over there? Is this like a render? Is that my fog? I don't know. This is an ancient city, bro. We freaking made it to an actual ancient city after, oh my gosh, 8,000 blocks. And uh, we had to divert off course because once we found this biome, I knew that was my best chance of getting somewhere. So we mined a straight line to get to this biome. I'm not walking around because I don't want to disturb the warden just yet. I want to get as much of a look around as possible before I decide to 1v1 this lad. Oh, dude, come on, man. Not like this. Is, is the warden going to spawn? I just wanted to loot this chest, all right? I, I wanted to loot this chest. If this is the actual warden, then, you know, G oh. Okay. He didn't he didn't didn't spawn, did he? I don't I don't hear him. I don't think I do. I think it'd be pretty apparent if he did. How are you supposed to do anything here? If everything every, every little action you do does a does a shriek. Oh my gosh, got some soul torches. A, oh, that's a new enchant. Swift sneak, let's go. Diamond leggings, a fortune hoe. That's pretty wicked. Okay, like, how do I get over there? I don't know. I'm, I might be doing something wrong. I gotta, I gotta watch someone's tutorial on how to not get absolutely just beasted by these uh, skulk senses over here. Yo! That's not fair. I'm gonna open it again. Saddle. Yup. Oh! Yup, 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 yup. Yup, 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 yup. He's sniffing, bro. I know how this works. Oh, God. Okay, watch this, watch this. I think if I dig a two by one hole and just chill out, I think he despawns. I want to see if I'm right though. Because he, yeah, the sniffing, even if you're not making noise, he has this weird, like a level of anger. And if you make him too angry, then he won't go away. But if you get out of his way, stop making noise, then you can actually make him despawn after 60 seconds. So I really want to see if I can give him the despawn and if just doing this little trick right here works. Hey, yo, it's been like two minutes. This man isn't despawning. Oh my God, bro. He, dude, he looks so scary. I only have un unenchanted netherite armor. Uh, you know what, dude? We accomplished our goal. We got here in the end. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe because I'm feeling the video is going to be over very, very soon. As soon as I decide... To oh, my God, bro. Just how fast did you sprint? Oh, my God. Ow. Yo, 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 yo. I'm a heart. I'm a heart. Can I just... Can I out sprint this man? Oh, no. Not the water. Oh, no. Not the water. Not the water. I'm running slow. I'm running slow. Oh, dude. We actually are kind of out beating him, though.
That's that's good to know. You can outrun the warden. Let me see. Get me in. Get me in. Oh, yo, he Sonic booned me. Today, I'm embarking on my biggest mining challenge to date. Oh my god. I just got jump scared in my own intro. What is this about? You went, you just went back again. Oh my God, he's gonna die to the blaze. Well, anyways, like I was saying, biggest mining challenge today and that I'm going to be mining 25,000 blocks in a straight line. And also why not time this? Uh, we're already like four minutes into our fire resistance potion. So we've already been about four minutes in. And how deep are we? we are 280 blocks, 300 blocks, not terrible but i really want to see after our first hour how deep we're able to get because i think that's going to set the tone for this whole challenge if we breeze through it then awesome and if we don't it's gonna absolutely suck hey a second little bit of ancient debris thank you very much bro i don't even mind the mining it's just these lava pits are getting insane it's like every hundred blocks i'm just running into like a sea of lava. Oh, now this is gonna be fun. You, I think you're just pretty much sprinting through the netherrack and then basalt or blackstone. Oh man, I forgot about this stuff. Originally, I wasn't going to like fortify all of these tunnels and make them lava proof, but then I realized if I get all the way done with this challenge, I'm 25,000 blocks away and then I have to run back through lava filled tunnels without any fire resistance potions. That'd probably just be a really bad idea. So I'm going back and patching up the first few tunnels that we did just to make sure in whatever event happens, I don't have to worry about running back through lava because I think that could make a lot of problems in the long term. Bro, I feel like I've done less mining so far. I'm just uh, just building tunnels, man. This is tunnel building simulator. What's happening? All right, it's been 25 minutes and we're a thousand blocks in, meaning this is on pace to take around 10 hours if we don't speed it up a little bit. But our pain is eased by some more ancient debris. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. I honestly have no like guesstimate of how much ancient debris I'm gonna end up getting. I'm hoping at least like 20 total ingots, like 80 ancient debris. I'm going so slow that even when I get ancient debris, I'm not excited because I thought in my mind, this was like a eight hour expedition. Bro, that ancient debris I just got, it doesn't even numb the pain of how slow I'm going. I'm currently at 1700 blocks in 42 minutes. This is literally gonna be unironically 12 hours. I, I was expecting mentally like six hours and there's nothing worse in Minecraft when you mentally are like, I just can take this much work. Like, dude, I don't even want this. Okay, I mean, I'll do, I do, I do. Right now, I do. I, I, I'm i only not even an hour in, and I'm already getting upset at finding literally the rarest thing in the game. But you see, that's how annoying this is, bro. I, I'm literally having to create tunnels out of... It's just the straight line thing. If I wasn't going in a straight line, I just mined 25,000, you know, blocks distance-wise. Yeah, this probably wouldn't be that bad, but I'm swimming in lava half the time. It's crazy. Bro, what is this doing in the lava, man? I, I, I'm literally out of blocks to build these tunnels because I've been running into these tunnels so much, man. Oh, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. You think it ends and it doesn't. <laughs> ah, yes, no lava. Let's see how long this lasts. All right, we're at 52 minutes. Well, like 30 seconds, I think it was. Let's see how long we go without running into another pit of lava. And there we are. About 30 seconds later, another pit of lava. It, that's That's it. You mine for 30 seconds, you're in lava for five minutes. It's so weird. But on the bright side, we are 2,000 blocks in. So, I mean, we're, we're making progress. I did move down to Y11 because although I think I'll find around 30% less ancient debris down here, hopefully I'll have to run into less lava pools and therefore technically I'll find ancient debris faster than I would normally, but it's still a work in progress right now. All right, we cruise on to 3,000 blocks pretty fast. We're at 3,300 now. So I feel like Y-11 might have a little bit less ancient debris, but bro, I, I did not sign up to build tunnels through lava. I'll tell you that much. So I think we're, uh, I think we're hitting our stride right now, which is good. Oh shoot, dude. I just found ancient debris and lava. Now this, okay, this is the one time I'll take lava. I still hate it with all my guts, but if it gives me ancient debris, it's fine by me. Well, just shy of two hours, we are 5,000 blocks and 25 
20% of the way done. Oops, I wish I 25% of the way done. And we hit more lava. We're up to 31 ancient debris, which is right around 8 ingots. So that puts us finishing this off with like 40 ingots or so. I'm going to be honest, this it's pretty boring, like content wise for you guys. So the updates might be pretty sporadic from here on out. I'm definitely going to have to make a pit stop for some more fire resistance potions as we're down to 30 seconds on this one. And I am literally just chilling in lava like it's nothing. And also my pickaxes are doing fine, but my shovel is kind of down bad right now. So not really sure. And also... This says an eight minute fire resistance potion. You guys see fire resistance, eight minutes, splash. You guys see we're about to be out and we're out. Boom, let's splash ourselves seven minutes. I can only get seven minutes of fire resistance. I don't know why. I don't know what's happening. Maybe because it's splash and it loses some of its potency that way. I actually have no clue, but my supposed seven hours worth of potions is now down to like six hours because of that. And so very unfortunate stuff, but you know, we're still looking good on food and everything else. Just kind of the shovel and... Oh, well, the lava. All right, we're now 8,000 blocks in, and I've only got three more ancient debris. So uh, things are really slowing down on that, end, but we're speeding up in terms of mining this here old tunnel. And I basically just need a stack. Oh, okay. I haven't found ancient debris in like 20 minutes. That's a joke. I mean, I'll take it. But I just need pretty much a full stack of ancient debris, and that'll be enough to cover all my tools and gear. So I'm not asking for much. Just need a little bit. And boom, we are 10 thousand blocks into the 25,000 block tunnel we still should be on the same straight line we started with it's kind of hard to keep track in uh down here but one thing i kind of forgot about is that i have tnt i just have a bunch of tnt now also have these bottles of enchanting that i thought i was gonna need to use my pickaxe but we have three pickaxes and this one is still going strong so we're actually gonna quit my shovel because this thing has been taking a beating and uh just don't want it to break because it's literally the only shovel i have and well, that's, that's like a good bit of the way there. Well, we're going to chuck this in here. We already have, we have a flint steel. And let's make sure we go ahead and pop another splash potion. And so this is not even to like increase the length of the tunnel. This is literally just to search for ancient debris, which if we want to be searching for ancient debris, we should probably go back up to Y15. Uh, because if you remember, I went back down to Y10. So now we build a super humongo massive tunnel, lace it full of TNT, and then it goes boom. All right, first little line, see what we can get from it, if anything. Oh my gosh, bro. Of course. I forgot you can't like blow up stuff in the basalt biome. So, uh, you know, it's going strong. Of course, there's some lava there. And awesome. Nothing. Another little explosion. Ow. Uh, okay, well, that was a little explosion, huh? It's really hard to tell how long I'm able to make these because I've made so many tunnels inside of lava that I don't know where they start and where they end. So that's why I've just been mining this whole time. And also, you got to run back, place the TNT. Like, obviously, I mean, it, it looks like it's working. We've already just found some right there. We're up to 46 H, actually 49 in total. More ancient debris. Oh, shoot. Hey. Right. Oh, more. Okay, dude. Now, this is fun. Now, I'm liking this. Just had to get a little bit uh, explosive-y. Then, then things started to get a little interesting. Up to 53. Let's go. Third time's the charm. Let's see what we can get going here. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. God dang, bro. I wonder how much ancient debris I've passed just because I have not been using... TNT, but I think we're making up for it right now. Just a little bit. We're up to what is that? 60, 62. We only need two more. Two more ancient debris for a full stack, which means 16 ingots. And we'll be filthy rich. The only problem is we've only got about a stack of TNT left after this. So, oh, well, there goes our two ancient debris. No problem. Last one for the gamers. Need something. Well, no, we already have a sack, so we don't even need something big. Just anything we get would be, uh, be nice, you know? Get some XP down here while we're at it. Hey, the four-hour mark. Where are we? We're 11,000 blocks, and I think this really slowed me down. I think we hit the 10,000 block mark, like, a little while ago, and we just kind of waste a lot of time doing this so now that our tnt is gone and we've probably gotten most of the ancient debris we're gonna get from this little mining expedition it's time to head back down once we get all this ancient debris back to wide level 10 where things are 
a little bit easier to traverse down there. Oh, shoot. Five hour mark. Let's go. How did we, we are, oh, we're almost, almost 15,000 blocks in. The halfway mark, I don't even think I shouted out. Maybe we were doing the whole TNT stuff then. Uh, we're also getting pretty low, and I do know I need to save, like, at least three potions to get back, because I know there's, like, three or four lava areas that I just ran out of blocks and wasn't able to get to. So I'll probably save four potions to be safe. Folks, I seem to have lost my shulker box full of goodies. Uh, my... My fire resistance potions. I, there should be a shulker box that I missed. If it despawned, then just like GG's. And that's, would be fine and all. But I'm like 16, 17,000 blocks away. And I do have rockets and elytra, so I can fly partially back. But I think I'm going to run as far back as I can to where I don't encounter lava. And then just pray i make it back like fly as far back as i can walk as far back as i can but i also have a limited amount of food so i'm walking boys i'm i'm walking this is this is kind of scary this is kind of sketch i've i've messed up pretty big time here i'm not even lying and unless i magically run into it back nah there's no way there's no way i don't i don't know where it is i i i have no clue but i i gotta hope i gotta throw some hope out there you never know oh it could still i I'm, I'm just i'm hoping i like mind it then pick it up and it's just on the ground like not spawned in here or something but uh, i don't know we're gonna have to salvage this somehow salvage this entire world because i'm i'm i should have brought another portal but honestly that wouldn't have really done that, that would have been like eighty thousand blocks out so i don't know what i should have done not done not done this not done the stupid project that's what boys i think we're good i think it's been like a literal hour journey the most stressful hour journey of my life back to my base we're only about two thousand blocks away now and the good part is i've already passed two lava pits that i didn't properly fill in and i think that's it there might be one more but i basically just like dug around them to get back but bro this is this is terrible i'm gonna have to make i'm gonna have to run sixteen thousand blocks back oh yeah sick Another one. I'm going to have to run 60,000 blocks back. Mine, 8,000 blocks. Run 20. I'm going to have to run like 60,000 blocks this video because I'm an idiot. An hour later, we're back safe and sound. Barely. All right, we've got around one and a half shulkers of fire resistance potions. We only have a third left on this. So our paper should have way more fire resistance than we actually need to complete this tunnel. And off we go. After 40 minutes of running, 45 minutes of running, we are back. I'm way too stubborn of an individual to start a project, realize it was a terrible idea, and then back out of it. No matter how terrible the idea, we must go on. Well, folks, we're on the last home stretch, the final 1,000 blocks in a straight line. Don't worry, I'll reveal how much netherite we found as soon as we end up getting back, but I think that's literally gonna be like an hour long run back. I really should have just brought with me a gear to break on top of the nether. And then build a portal or something. Yeah, just didn't think that went through. Boys, a hundred blocks to go. I can't believe it's happening. Let's see. Can we just breeze through this? No more lava, please. Please, that would be a spectacular way to end this off. Not in the lava. Well, actually, never mind. Oh, okay. Well, too bad. We do have to go like an extra 40 blocks. I remember we started off at like 42 and negative 42. So... Uh, I just remembered that, and I'm a man of my word. I'm sticking to my gun, sticking to my promises. Okay, there's 25,000. Oh, <laughs> no way. We get some ancient debris to end it. Okay, let's just one. So one better than nothing. And where is it? Boom, 25,042. I mined 25,000 blocks in a straight line. Not too much. We ended up getting a stack and 33 which I believe is 97 ancient debris. And don't get me wrong, that's great. It's just for mining a total of over 50,000 blocks because we traveled 25,000 blocks in distance, but obviously you have to mine two eyes. So we mined over 50,000 blocks. We even exploded a good amount of blocks as well. It feels like 100. This is pretty underwhelming, but I know at the end of the day, we weren't using the most optimal way to find netherite scrap. I really just wanted to challenge myself to see what would happen if I mined 25,000 blocks in a straight line. And with the amount of gold that we have, we're able to get 15 netherite ingots with 37 scrap left over. So let's go ahead and finally get ourselves a full set of netherite gear. Well, and I think also we're, I just, 
upgraded this and it actually mended my gear a little bit, which is pretty interesting. I did not know that happened. And there's literally no other use for netherite than upgrading stuff. So I might as well upgrade every single piece of diamond gear that I have to netherite because why not? And that's exactly what we get when you mine 25,000 blocks in a straight line. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore, where in today's episode, we're going to be doing something a little crazy. I'll be mining in a straight line for 24 hours today. Now, I've just moved into my new apartment. As you can tell, the background is different. And I'd also like to think of myself as a kind of healthy individual, you know, trying to go to the gym every day, eating healthy, sleeping a good amount. And so over my next waking 24 hours, meaning as long as I am awake, I will be on my computer playing Minecraft. I'll be mining in a straight line. So I'm estimating I'll probably get anywhere from 12 to 14 hours of mining done, which is good because I have a diamonds. But before we can get started, we have to get prepared because we only have two pickaxes to our name and that's not gonna be any good when we're mining hundreds of thousands of blocks over the next few days. And we're here. Why negative 54, which is the best place to mine for diamonds in the new update since you get to avoid all of the lava. Am I in my... Oh, that is the wrong direction. Excuse me. Here we go. Oh, how can I forget? We have ourselves a timer. We actually have two timers. The one below me, as you can see, is just a timer. And the one below that is the time it is right now in the world. It's a website called time.i is... I don't know. People sometimes might think I'm faking things. I've done a lot of mining challenges in the past. If you go through my channel, I have uploaded... I can't even count how many mining challenges, mining in a straight line, mining X amount of blocks... I haven't faked a single one of them, but people might get something stuck in their minds that they think I'm trying to swindle them in a YouTube video. So there you go. The global Eastern standard time, as well as a live count on my PC. Now I mentioned my strategy earlier and I have a silk touch pickaxe that I am only going to be using when I find diamond ores, because this trip is about diamond ores. I have a gold farm. I have an iron farm. I actually do need redstone. So uh, maybe redstone. No, no, I need the redstone for mending because I did get 10 pickaxes on the off chance pickaxes. My pickaxes are about to break, uh, but I have a feeling that I am really not going to even need those 10 pickaxes. That was just like a, a safety net, because if you mine all of the redstone and the lapis that you find and you don't silk touch it, well, then you get a lot of XP back and that mends your pickaxe up. So truly, I think I'm only gonna be still touching the diamond blocks because that's what everyone cares about. Gold, doesn't matter. Iron, doesn't matter. Copper, who, do people care about copper in the game? I don't even know. So here we got the main pickaxe, which is fortune. Then we have a silk touch pickaxe for diamonds. And I'm gonna be honest, 12 hours of mining, I'm gonna for sure accidentally mine a diamond ore or two, but I will of course save those and let you know how many I end up mining. And did you guys think I forgot about the best mining method in the game? Well, I hope not, because we're doing this 12 hours in a one by one hole. Yes, we are using this method, the famous Kaz method. If you guys remember from the craft night days, I am chucking myself in this one by one and we are going to be mining till we just can't mine anymore. And listen, guys, once again, I have an iron farm. I'm sorry. It slows me down. This trip is for diamonds. I'm mining in a straight line to get diamonds. And I hope you guys can understand. But anyways, now that you guys know the game plan, it's time to just mine. Oh, the first diamonds only four minutes in. I think that is a fantastic sign. And let me put these deep slate diamond ores in the inventory so I can keep track myself. I think this is like five diamond veins in seven minutes. Like, holy crap. I think the most diamonds I've ever found is five stacks in an hour. It was like my all time record. I don't think it's a world record or anything. But it was at least my record for sure. And I wonder if I'm ever going to break. I wonder if Minecraft's ever going to make more updates to mining or ore generation. Because this one was so huge. I feel like mining is going to stay like this for quite some time. Ooh, the one thing I don't want to do is spawn the warden when I'm doing this. I think you have to be in an end city for that to happen. It can't just be the deep dark vibe. I think we're good. But I have a feeling over the next 12 hours, something, something's going to be spawning. I don't know what. Just check it in. We're already at 2,200 blocks mined in 30. 30 minutes so doing some quick math we might get pretty close to 50,000 blocks to this straight line but that that might be a problem that's also another thing maybe i get some crazy big veins there's some there are things in minecraft called like super veins where there's i think it's only one vein of diamonds can spawn at each minecraft chunk but if you get super 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 lucky you can have two chunks next to each other spawn veins and they connect and they create like a massive vein so maybe Maybe we'll get one of those. Two hours later. Oh, 
Is this it? Oh my god! Hold up! This is what I was talking about. This is the Mega Vein. It was one, two, three, four. We already got those. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's the chunk border, boys. Oh my, I actually think I was gonna get one. That was like that was like maximum value mega vein, bro. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, two hours in, we have mined 8,000 blocks in distance, but it is 1 a.m. I'm going to bed. Good morning, gamers. We're getting a little bit of a late start. It is 11.27 a.m., but don't worry. I got all of my chores done before I got on today, so I literally am going to have, what, the next 11 or so hours to just mine Sounds like a lovely way to spend my Saturday. And after three hours, we've gone almost 13,000 blocks. We've got over three stacks of diamond ore, which I think translates to almost like a full stack of diamond blocks once I mine them out. Ooh, a lush biome. These are always really cool. It's the first one I've come across. Dude, I just freaking neoed your arrow. What bow is that? Holy, that was powerful. Journey. Ooh, I don't have any glow berries. Oh, a mob spawner. Oh, I didn't have to do the yo what a wobbo combo holy crap oh it's a skeleton but dude they're beefing each other Bye, bye. oh we just got destroyed <laughs> dude what is this moss we already have moss blocks back at the base so i don't really need them but i don't have any glow berries and glow berries are cool i think they're cool decorations uh but these guys they're they're really annoying and i don't even know where i came from i just got lost oh and we get some diamonds all right okay enough distraction we we got more blocks to mine. Oops, we accidentally mined some diamonds as we hit the six hour mark. And uh, we're at 25,000 blocks mined, starting from zero. And I guess if this keeps up, we'll hit 50,000 like I projected. Oh, brother, we're hitting diamonds again. Diamonds, they're either so elusive and you find them once every like 10, 20 minutes, or you just get them back to back to back. Like here, because I'm talking about, I'm about to find them. I'm gonna give like 10 more blocks. Five. Okay, no, may maybe not this time, but uh, things, things are going good. I cannot complain. Also, sorry, the time never updated, so I apologize for that. I don't know why that stopped or how long that's been stopped for. Oops. Bro, this is so sketch, man. Why? It's just... I guess this, like, inadvertently makes mining more interesting. I wouldn't say it's fun. It makes it more fun. It makes it way more stressful whenever you enter one of these biomes. Like, usually whenever I do this, like, on these challenges where I'm not mining a straight line, I just avoid deep, dark biomes at all costs. But, um, straight lines, they, they don't, they don't zig and zag, really. I have zigged and zagged, like, once or twice so far. But if that's the price I gotta pay to stay alive... It's cool with me. All right, after a quick gym session and dinner break, we are back on track. Oh, but my timer messed up. So I think this should put us at around 10 and a half hours, maybe a, uh, 11 hours mind once we hit the 24 hour mark because I have no more breaks, no more food to eat, no more miles to run. We have a lot of diamond ore, but I know we can get more. All right, I might have made a big mistake with my food choice of a golden apples because when I eat one, it only gives me two pieces of hunger. When a steak gives me like four and I don't really need hearts. I just, because I'm like sprinting to get in this, I burn a lot of hunger while mining using this method so if i get really low on food we might just have to go back to mining like this because it's way oh diamonds it's just way better for conserving your food so i might have messed up oops whoa oh that dude that was so close to being a mega vein dang it yeah i'm gonna be honest pretty stupid of me bringing golden apples i didn't i, I thought they gave way more hunger than that i'm definitely gonna run out of food at some point and i'm not gonna go to the surface try to find some cows or some pigs or some sheep and kill them luckily though we do have a uh, fire aspect and looting on this, so shouldn't be too bad if that's the case, but I just guess I'll have absorption and some gold hearts for, for the rest of the little while. Oh, I forgot to give. Eight hour update, 32,000 blocks in. Actually, I wanted to give you guys the final diamond count at the end because we're getting kind of close to the end. I can taste it. Oh, this is weird. Wait, what's my price? Oh, that looks sick. I was like, this is just... You never see a lava lake this big anymore. This thing is absolutely freaking massive. And this is how you cross a lava lake without an light jump. Easy peasy. 
We've hit the 10 hour mark at 41,000, oops, 41,000 blocks mined. So after the flying, probably around 40,000 blocks. And I think this is just about the time that I started last night mining. And it feels like a pretty good place to end. So I'm gonna head back. I'm just kind of wondering how long do elytras last? 40,000 blocks. Ah, well, I guess we're gonna find out how long elytras last. And if you're ever 40,000 blocks away from your base, just know that uh, this is how much you'll have left with your light jump ball. It's time to go ahead and show you all just how many diamond blocks you're able to mine in 10 hours in a single straight line. And well, after 10 hours, this is how many diamonds I was able to find. I, how tall is this? I literally, I, it was like 10 stacks of blocks, which is over like 700 total diamond ore. Uh, and now we're going to break out our fortune three pickaxe and uh, mine it all up. And hopefully we get somewhere in the ballpark of like 1500 to 2000 diamonds. Uh, and then even then, I don't even use diamonds, but now I will never have to enter a mine shaft as long as I am in this world. Also, I just want to say that no, I did not use a single pickaxe that I made. One of the eight pickaxes didn't touch. I only used my original netherite fortune pickaxe and my silk touch pickaxe to obviously collect all of these ores. Uh, but with these final ore being mined, let's go dump all these diamonds off and s oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, that's so many times. Oh, that's almost a full chest of diamonds. I believe one chest in Minecraft is around 1700 diamonds. So that is 1600 <laughs> in 10 hours of mining. Uh, we also, as you can see, did just get a absolute ton of redstone, some musical discs, and these, I did not find these emeralds, these are old blocks of emerald. There's also a ton of iron and gold that I passed, but once again, uh, I would have definitely been slower and collected less diamonds, which is the overall goal of this trip, so I'm very, very, very satisfied. It's very educational. I've been playing Minecraft for a little over 10 years at this point, and throughout my journey, there's been one thing that I love to do in Minecraft more than anything else, and that's to mine diamonds. Recently, there's sprouted kind of a competition for the world record of most diamonds mined in a minecraft hardcore world but there's one category that no one's attempted the record for and that's the one i plan on setting today before we can even think about setting the world record there are two main things we have to take care of with the new ore generation feature introduced in minecraft 1.18 it means that the best y level to find diamonds is all the way down at y negative 54 and this in itself isn't really a problem but you guys know what else is at y negative 54 ancient cities the last thing i want to encounter is a warden when i'm trying to set the world record if there's all this we can actually make what's called a warden mob switch and just like that it is finished meaning it's impossible for any wardens to spawn in my minecraft world as long as this machine is turned on that's issued one done and dusted and the second one believe it or not is very similar to the first one see the way that i'm going to be setting the world record is creating what's called a tunnel bore machine this machine uses tnt duplicators and a flying machine technology to basically do the hard part of unearthing the diamonds for me so all i have to do is run through the path of destruction and see if i can spawn Bought any diamonds but because this machine is going to be so big it's going to be really easy for hostile mobs to spawn one of those being creepers and well tnt and creepers don't mix well together so in order to solve this problem i'm going to have to build a second mob switch but this one is just for general mobs meaning that once this contraption is complete not a single hostile mob can spawn in my minecraft hardcore world as long as this machine is up and operational and just like that the second mob switch is complete and oh my my gosh there's not a single mob in sight this is crazy with all the hostile mobs taken care of that could potentially ruin this world record run the last thing we have to do is collect this absurd amount of materials that's required to build this tunnel bore while I quickly collect all these materials, I'll let you guys in on my game plan. Now, one of the easiest ways to set a Minecraft world record, well, is to set a record no one's ever attempted. And there's a great reason no one's ever attempted to set this record, and that's because there'd have to be someone crazy enough out there to sit down and mine diamonds for 24 hours straight. Oh yeah, wait, that that's me. So rather than breaking an existing record, today we're going to be setting the world record for most diamonds mined within a 24 hour time period. All right, I think this should be enough, or at least 
least I hope so. Because we'll need almost 10 stacks of just slime blocks alone. And as we already have the 150 ancient debris, the rest of the materials should be super easy to get. One eternity later. And with these materials right here, we have everything we need to get started with in preparation for the world record. But we just need to go ahead to our mob switch chunk loader and turn it on. So now no more mobs will be spawning in my world. And then we are going to chuck up this nether portal on top of the nether roof tens of thousands of blocks away from our current base as i want to make sure we haven't mined in any areas before and okay i know i don't have to make a mine shaft entrance with a staircase gotta make it old school gotta make it classic We've made it down to our base of operations. We just have to dig out quite a large room because in order to build our world record diamond mining machine, we're gonna need a tunnel around 500 blocks long. But don't worry, I've also got a plan for that. Bro, why am I finding damage right now? I'm supposed to save that for when the challenge starts, dude. Come on. Bro, I'm ruining all of my luck. Are you kidding me? Dude, that's an eight main or is it six or eight? Oh my, I don't even want these. Yo, I hear lava. Let me go find some. Bye-bye, diamonds. Dude, I'm, I'm hoping because I'm giving back to the Minecraft diamond gods, they'll reward me. Dude, oh my gosh. Stop. <laughs> well, I'm taking these, dude. You guys know where these are going. Get this trash out of here dude okay with this space lined out we could build the first of our tunnel bores which is how we're gonna get thousands and thousands of diamonds all right if everything has worked this note block should start the process of duplicating oh it did not start the process cool let's do it again Oh, bro, what? I'll figure this out. Okay, I think I forgot a block somewhere. This should... Yeah, what? Oh, why is the last one not going? No! Oh, no! Dude, I did it again! Oh, yes, boys. With our first mini tunnel bores finally working, we were able to absolutely demolish this huge 300 block long tunnel that would have taken me hours to do by hand, but took about 20 minutes thanks to this magical machine. Now, this is the entire space that the machine is going to take up. And the cool thing is, I found two and a half stacks of diamonds just clearing out the section. I wasn't even trying to find diamonds again. You know what? You guys know the drill. We're sacrificing our diamonds for the sake of of the RNG gods. And now let's break these machines down so we can go build 50 more of them. Now, I'm not gonna bore you all with the details of how this machine functions, but to sum it up, there's a lot of slime, there's a lot of redstone, and there is a lot of wizardry to make sure this machine actually functions. And after days of preparation and a few last minute touches, we are ready to embark on our world record journey. We did manage to get some uh, extra precautions. Uh, we have a double chest of food, golden carrots, potatoes, bread, all that stuff. Uh, we also have two rows of fireworks, 19, uh, 18 stacks, uh, and enough to make a few more. I have a sugarcane farm back here. I think this has been my biggest hurdle is in the 24 hours. I might run out of sugarcane, like to be honest, and, and fireworks and everything. So we'll see how that impacts us. We've got some uh, backup bottles of enchanting just in case our elytra gets too low. But I think because this thing unearthed so many blocks, like I can just go mine the redstone with my fortune pickaxe and we'll be able to mend all my stuff. Now to explain this right here, this is going to count the stacks of diamond ores that I have. So we're just going to keep track of how many stacks of diamond ores I have. Here we go 24 hours starts now let's get these diamonds on earth i was a little worried i was gonna have some issues running the machine but luckily after an hour of flawless execution i ended up getting way more diamonds than i ever thought i would this is something i meant to do a while ago but we just crossed the one hour mark and so for every hour i'm gonna put all the diamonds i got so we got almost three stacks of deep slate ore in an hour which is probably over six stacks of diamonds that's like 350 diamonds in the first hour that's pretty good Up to this point, things were going suspiciously well. I had just crossed the four hour mark and mined my 10th stack of diamond ore, but that's when I was informed of some very bad news. See, the main reason that I attempted this challenge in the first place was that regardless of how many diamonds I mined, I would be the world record holder because no one had ever attempted this challenge before. But as someone very quickly pointed out in my chat, this was false as the YouTuber Chihita around two years ago did this challenge mining for 24 hours straight and amassed a 
a whopping 6,900 diamonds in the span of his challenge. So this information turned my walk in the park world record challenge to something a whole lot more serious. Believe it or not, this entire 24-hour challenge went way smoother than I expected. Throughout the entire thing, there was only one real problem, but it was a big one. I severely underestimated just how many fireworks I would need for this challenge, and because of that, I didn't bring enough sugar cane and gunpowder to make enough, and so what you guys are seeing is something I had to do multiple times throughout this challenge, which was build different sugarcane farms so that I can manually farm sugarcane and save as much time as possible. And if you all somehow aren't convinced of just how overpowered this machine is yet, well, I think this clip should help. Come on. Yes. Exactly two stacks. Whoa. Where the heck did these diamonds come from? Oh my gosh. I think it's the most I've ever had in one explosion. Two veins back there. That was a total of eight. That's 16. This is another two veins. No, this is 21, two, three, 23 ores. Come on. Oh, let's go even more. What? What are the odds? 26, 27. Oh my gosh. Half, almost half a stack of ores with the click of one button. As you can tell, I was absolutely in a love with this new tunnel bore mining method. Gone to the days of having to strip mine for maybe a stack or two of diamonds per hour. And so it's safe to say I was thoroughly enjoying using this machine, but that's until an absolute disaster struck. Uh-oh, what happened here, dude? Did gravel get in the way? Oh no, dude. Every machine is off by one. Dude, I was afraid of this, man. I can figure this out. Okay, right, yup. Oh no, we're saved. So all the machines are back in sync. I just have to rebuild the machine. Okay, if I didn't mess this up, should act like nothing happened. Oh my god, I fixed it, dude. That was so scary, bro. Now that our tunnel board was back in action, we ended up finding something that I didn't even know could generate this deep in a Minecraft world. Another? Oh my gosh, we just found a second dungeon. All right, I'll let you guys get blown up. This is what I like to refer to as the graveyard shift of a 24 hour stream. It was around two o'clock in the morning, 10 hours in, and signs were definitely showing that I was getting tired. I just spilled my coffee, that's sick. Damage isn't that bad. Not only had I just crossed the halfway point of this 24 hour challenge, but I was also very much so on pace to beat the 6,900 diamonds required to claim the new world record. And a question I got asked probably hundreds of times throughout the stream is what am I even gonna do with all these diamonds? Well, I'm gonna attempt to break another world record with them. The current world record for most diamonds in a Minecraft hardcore world sits at around 27,000. And while yes, that is a lot of diamonds, you all can actually help me break this world record because for every subscriber I get on this series, I've been mining one diamond. And so if we get 20,000 subscribers on this one video, that would mean you guys help me break the overall world record, which is something I plan doing anyways. But if you guys wanna help me Speed up the process, oh, you know where the sub button is. If I even lay my head down, it's over. Oh my gosh. Yo, that's a sign. Don't lay my head down. Don't give up. Never back down. Never give up. Hey, amazing. Ooh, I'm getting tired again, man. I could just fall asleep like this, man. Just fall asleep like this. I can't. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I'm not gonna lie. I was seconds away from just jumping in my bed behind me at the six hour mark, but I pushed through, which is important because it was necessary. I kept going because up to this point, I still had not reached the world record previously set by Jahida. But according to my calculations, I was getting very, very close to it. So we kept on trucking. All right, well, we're down to some of our last fireworks, which means we gotta go snag some gunpowder. And uh, the easiest way to do that is to log out and log back in. Our mob switch is turned off, which means we have all these friendly mobs to come and give us their drops. Our first of hopefully nine stacks of gunpowder. 
And wouldn't you believe it, with around three hours left to go, we reach the 49 stack mark, which according to my calculation, should have put us right on target to tie the world record. But in a challenge like this, the highs are highs, but the lows are even lower. And with almost two hours to go, I nearly gave up. It's because I'm, I'm literally falling asleep. I've never done that. I've never had this happen before. Oh, uh, I don't want to call it quits, dude. I don't, I don't want to call it quits. 24 hours and 2 million blocks destroyed by the tunnel bore machine later. I was proud to say I had finally completed this challenge. And according to my calculations, this double chest of ores right here should put us very close to breaking the world record. So let's go see if we did it. It is kind of insane to realize I managed to get all of these diamonds in 24 hours. It's a solid cube of it, diamonds. And we finally get to switch out our silk touch pickaxe for our fortune 3 pickaxe because we need to turn all of these ores into actual diamonds and i hope the rng gods bless us with some much needed diamonds and with all the diamonds mined up we managed to get an insane 7,936 diamonds within 24 hours. But unfortunately, I have some more bad news. The entire time that I was doing my 24 hour challenge, my goal was to surpass the 6,900 diamond mark. And as you guys just saw, we beat it by over a thousand diamonds. But I was grinding this challenge off the wrong assumption because at the end of Jihita's video, he reveals he not only mined 6,900 diamonds, but he mined 6,900 diamond ores, basically doubling the total amount of diamonds that I managed to mine in a 24 hour time period. And I just gotta say, that is an incredible feat. So yeah, Jihita still strongly holds the record for Minecraft 1.17, but I think we can count this as a record for Minecraft 1.20. But the important thing is, these diamonds put us about a third of the way there to the all-time record. And you guys can help me achieve my dream of obtaining this record by subscribing to the channel.